5.30 p.m., you're listening to Backwoods Radio. This is Bobby and the Duke. Coming to you live from the Seagull Stadium in beautiful Port Nicola. Our top story today is still the outbreak in Yelltown. Tell us about that, Duke. An area of farmland outside Yelltown is still in quarantine one week after the deaths of three people with fever-like symptoms. Senator Sylvia Thurlow, head of the Bureau of Public Health, gave a press conference earlier today. Let me reassure the people of Yelltown that the risk of contagion is very, very small. However, if you do experience a high fever, nosebleeds, or coughing fits, please stay calm, stay where you are, and call the RHC emergency hotline on 111-111. That number again, 111-111. I hope our listeners in Yelltown are feeling fit and healthy because you do not want to miss tonight's big game. That's right, Bobby. Port Nicholas Seagulls versus my team, the Blue Ridge Raccoons. <laughs> Raccoons suck. Go Gulls! <laughs> Whichever team you support, the atmosphere here in the stadium really is electric. Hello? Harper, it's Rupert. Professor McBride, how are you? Uh, not great, actually. There's a problem with my laptop. That's a very familiar phrase. I know, I know, but it won't charge. And I'm right in the middle of processing some crucial data. I'm supposed to be driving over to Port Nicola today and... Say no more, Professor. I'll grab my multi-tool from upstairs and be right over. <laughs> oh, thank you, Harper. Uh, no problem. See you soon. Always the same. There it is. Good old multi-tool. Let's go fix the professor's computer. Huh. Glue. Always useful. Hey there. Oh, Harper. Thank goodness you're here. Come in. What's the trouble, Professor? That blasted battery is trying to murder me. You know, for a scientist, you don't always... It will not charge. And I'm in the middle of modeling the latest data from my research team. It's been processing all night. If I lose power now, I'll have to start over. I need this analysis for a very important presentation at PNU tomorrow. Can you fix it? What's the presentation about? It's my analysis of factors leading up to the recent outbreak. Yelltown fever? Yes. No. Well, the trouble is, we don't really know what kind of disease it is yet. The Dean of Medicine asked me to address the virology department tomorrow. We're hoping my research might help fight whatever killed those people. Is Yelltown fever really that dangerous? I'm afraid so. 
The little brute seems to be acutely virulent. By all accounts, it kills in a matter of hours, not days. Jeez, hours? What if I've got it? You'd know, Harper. I'm told symptoms start appearing immediately after infection. Wow. Those poor people. Don't lose hope, son. There's still time to contain it and prevent an epidemic. Isn't the government dealing with it? Ah, yes. They've placed us in the benevolent hands of the Rancho Health Corporation. I thought RHC said everything was under control. That's how you know they're cacking their pants, Harper. See, I know these people, and I know they'll struggle to fight this disease without my input. Can you find a cure? Uh, it's not quite as simple as finding a cure. But if anyone can beat this thing, it's my research team at PNU. They're the best in the country. All we need is a sample of the bugger. So anyway... It's nearly out of juice and it isn't charging. I don't get it. I replaced the battery like two weeks ago. Let's take a look here. There's your problem, Professor. The power cable's frayed. Dash and blast! How did I miss that? Eh, it's no biggie. I can patch it up with my multi-tool and some electrical tape. Oh, good. Yes, I'm sure I have some electrical tape. Somewhere. Uh, leave it with me, Professor. Hmm, no electrical tape in here. Just some dusty old vinyl records. Those are classic blues pressings, Harper. Remember, you used to listen to them on my old turntable. It's 2017, Professor. I listen to tapes now. No electrical tape here either. Why do you have so much junk? Junk? Out of interest, how tidy is your place right now? But I'm broke. You could use your sweet university dollar to hire a cleaner. Ha! Ah. This reminds me of when I used to help you out in the lab when I was a kid. Maybe we have different understandings of the word help. Ah, here's the electrical tape. Excellent! Can you fix a laptop now? Hopefully. Some insulation tape. This should help fix the power adapter. The cable is frayed in the middle probably eroded. I need to strip and splice it, then insulate it somehow. I can't see how to use... Okay, I'll strip the cable and remove the frayed wire. Now, let's get splicey. <laughs> Looking good. Okay, let's make this safe. Ish. All right. Let's plug this baby in. Okay, she's charging now, Professor. Oh, you're a lifesaver, Harper. How much do I owe you? This one's on me. But a guy as smart as you shouldn't have to call the village idiot every time his laptop goes kablooey. Harper, I hate to hear you do yourself down like that. You're not the village idiot. I really appreciate your help. Sure thing, anytime. That statue has been standing here for years, frightening children. What the? Jesus, are you all right? Get out of here. Leave me alone. But you need a doctor, or... Wait a minute. Is it... Is it the fever? Please. <laughs> Please. Get away from me. I can't just leave you here. I have to keep going. Keep going? Are you crazy? We, we need to get you to a hospital. Don't come near me. The blood. <laughs> the blood? Oh, Jesus. Jesus. 
What should I do? I know where I'm going. Just <laughs> forget you saw me. I'm going to call RHC. No, not RHC. But you need a doctor. I just need you to leave me alone. RHC might be able to help you. I don't want their help. I'm going to call them. Please, don't. This must be the lady's backpack. Please, don't call them. I'm sorry, it's for the best. <laughs> Huh? Mrs. Olsen? Can't you see that woman sick? Call the hotline. I, I don't think I should get involved. I ought to come down there and get you involved with a spanking. She's on death's door. I'd call whatchamacallit myself if it wasn't for my sciatica. Ooh. You're right. I'll call RHC. Well, hurry it up then. RHC emergency operator, what is your emergency? Uh, my name's Harper Pendrel. I just found a woman, and she's really sick. There's there's blood everywhere. I think it's Yelltown fever. Where are you right now, sir? Um, I'm right at the town center, uh, Swenson Alley. A medical team is on its way. Please stay where you are until they arrive. Hey, hey you! Sir, please confirm that you will stay... Sorry, sorry, I, I gotta go. She needs help. Sir, please stay where... You idiot! Excuse me? You... <laughs> Let them write to me! They're coming to help you. Shut up and listen! <laughs> if they find you with me, they'll take you in for testing too. T testing But I'm not infected. If they take you, you'll end up watching the big game from a body bag. But, but am I infected? If you do what I tell you, at least we have a chance. I think I better stay with you. Don't you listen? Go to the hotel. Find Hallowell. Find who? Reporter for the Times. Give the envelope. Envelope? What envelope? In the backpack. This, this is crazy. I... Take it, please. <laughs> Take it to Hellowell. Tell no one else. Okay, okay, I promise. Only <laughs> Hellowell. They're coming. Go now. <laughs> There she is. Please, go. <laughs> you see the one who called us in? Uh-oh. That was... awful. Should I have stayed with her? <sighs> Ugh. 
That was... awful. Should I have stayed with her? <sighs> People frown on dumpster diving, but you can turn up some cool stuff. Old appliances, old comic books... And that would be old Mrs. Denniman's pantyhose. Well, I'm traumatized. I'm not gonna take the pantyhose, am I? Huh. Well, maybe it'll be useful. I just hope no one saw me take it. What a piece of junk. Hey, wait a minute. That's Professor McBride's car. Something's not right. I better tell the professor. Jake's compressor. These things are expensive. Jake wouldn't leave it lying around unless he wasn't planning to come back. Harper, I didn't expect... What's the matter? I... I saw an infected woman. What? Are you sure? Yeah, it, it was terrible. She, she had blood coming out of her mouth and nose everywhere. What if I caught Yelltown fever? What if that happens to me? <sighs> Calm down, son. If you're infected, then squalling like a bear won't help. Come here, let me check you for symptoms. Well, it seems you're a very lucky boy, Harper. So I'm... You're fine. You're not showing any of the symptoms. Clean bill of health. Oh, thanks, Professor. Oh, thank God. <laughs> I'm not sure she had anything to do with it. We need to get out of town. This disease is killing people. Try to stay calm, son. Why don't you come stay with me in Port Nicola for a while? I, I haven't been to Nicola since I dropped out of PNU. Then it's settled. I'll drive you over as soon as I've finished my presentation. The infected woman was talking kind of strange. How do you mean? She gave me an envelope for a reporter named Heliwell. I think there's something not right going on here. Harper, I've studied countless outbreaks like this. Sometimes the panic and the fear are more deadly than the disease. Don't get caught up in paranoia. Remember, the only way to beat this thing is to wallop it with some cold, hard science. I called in RHC. They'll be able to help her, right? They'll take her to the RHC emergency treatment camp and put her on life support. Then, if her condition stabilizes, they'll move her to a specialist hospital. So I did the right thing. She was dying. What choice did you have? Hold up a minute. That's a thought. This... This is excellent news, Harper. What are you talking about? What an opportunity. I'm going to need your help. What are you planning, Professor? A blood sample from that infected woman would be the first step towards a vaccine. I need you to sneak into the treatment camp and get one for me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Can't you just ask the RHC guys? Bah! Rancho want a Rancho brand vaccine. They don't share data with lowly academics. Really? But people are dying. Exactly. With my research, I might be the only one who can crack this thing. Help me, Harper. Help the world. Oh, crap. Are you really serious about this crazy plan? Deadly serious. This is too good an opportunity to let pass. You'll be taking a big risk by stealing a blood sample, but you might also make history. Do me this kindness, and then we'll drive to Port Nicola together. <sighs> and uh, what will you do while I play gopher? Science, my boy! I have to finish tomorrow's presentation and pack up my lab. What's your plan again? For you to sneak into the RHC treatment camp and borrow a sample of infected blood. <sighs> I'd hoped it'd sound less crazy this time. What's your plan again? For you to sneak into the RHC treatment camp and borrow a sample of infected blood. <sighs> I'd hoped it'd sound less crazy this time. 
What's your plan again? For you to sneak into the RHC treatment camp and borrow a sample of infected blood. <sighs> I'd hoped it'd sound less crazy this time. What's your plan again? For you to sneak into the RHC treatment camp and borrow a sample of infected blood. <sighs> I'd hoped it'd sound less crazy this time. What's your plan again? For you to sneak into the RHC treatment camp and borrow a sample of infected blood. <sighs> I'd hoped it'd sound less crazy this time. What's your plan again? For you to sneak into the RHC treatment camp and borrow a sample of infected blood. <sighs> I'd hoped it'd sound less crazy this time. What's your plan again? For you to sneak into the RHC treatment camp and borrow a sample of infected blood. <sighs> I'd hoped it'd sound less crazy this time. What's your plan again? For <sighs> Why don't you sneak into the RHC camp? They're running high security, an undisclosed location accessible only to RHC staff. Quick reminder, I'm not RHC staff. Ah, I have an old biosuit. Same basic spec as RHC issue. I'd never get into it now, but you'd be a perfect fit. Damn, I knew keeping in amazing shape was a mistake. So where is this biosuit? Ah, yes, here you go. Ugh, rubber. It's polyester. As you see, with a couple of superficial alterations, it'll be a perfect match for the RHC one. So, I pimp the suit, swipe a blood sample, and then we get out of town? Yes, although the last thing we want to do is involve a pimp. I saw your car in Jake's shop. It looks like a total wreck. No, no, no. Jake's just fixing the brake light. He said he'd drop around today. I think he lied to you, Professor. Looks like Jake left town, and I think he maybe cannibalized your jalopy for spare parts. Damnation! We'll need that car to get to the treatment camp. And Port Nicola. Your ride is gar- I hate to ask, Harper. Do you think you could take a look at her? You see, I have to... Keep doing science. I get it. Give me the keys. Thank you. We need that car working. Leaving your paint lying around is very bad paintsmanship. Anyone could come along and take it. My guess. Huh, that loose cable makes it a little difficult to read the sign. Let's fix that, Pendrel. Ah, whoops. Hey, Morton. Hey there, Hoppo. Are you here to watch the big game? Everyone's downstairs already. Uh, I'd really love to watch it with them, but Mr. Seagull says I gotta stay on front desk. Actually, I'm looking for a guest. Someone called, uh, Hellowell. I, I don't know his first name. Hellowell? I'm sorry, Harp. There's nobody here by that name. But I need to find him. Well, I'm sorry. We ain't got your Heliwell here. But I was told to find Heliwell at the hotel. Told by who? Um, I just saw an infected woman in the street. What? An infected woman? Jeez, Hopper. I know. It was pretty awful. What did you do?
I called her HC. Huh. I knew it. You're a good guy, Hopper. Pretty scary. You didn't get infected, though, did you? Nah, I haven't gotten sick since we were kids. Phew. Well, well, that lady was probably just talking crazy with the fever and all. Oh, maybe. But it sounded so serious. Sounds like a wild goose chase to me, Harp. I don't remember you being such a big football fan. Oh, oh, oh I am, I am. I, I dig the Sea Dogs. The Seagulls, more. Uh, exactly. Uh, go Gulls! Woo! You don't know a thing about football, do you? No, no. I, I'm a fan all the way. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Of the Sea Dogs. Oh, damn it, Harper. Okay, I want to be a fan. Everybody's gonna talk about the big game tomorrow. I don't want to be out of the loop when I, uh... <clears throat> How's the hotel trade? Eh, could be better. This Yelltown fever thing is not good for business. Worse than the Yelltown fire and the Yelltown floods put together. On the bright side, not as bad as the Yelltown earthquake or the Yelltown hurricane. Why would anyone build a hotel here? What do you think about Yelltown fever? Real scary. They talk about it like it's... like it's the Acropolis or something. <laughs> The Acropolis? Yeah, like some Revelations crap. Are you sure you don't have a guest called Hellowell? Yep. Sorry, Hopper. <laughs> Wait, is this football thing about a guy? Well... Uh... <laughs> Data Bear's coming out of his cave. <laughs> no, no, I, I, I just may have a date with a certain gentleman acquaintance. Way to go, Morton. But he's so into sports. I don't want to look dumb. Mort, don't worry about looking dumb. You always look dumb. Hey! <laughs> but you're a nice guy. I'm sure you're... gentlemen. We'll see that. <sighs> I still wish I could watch the game, though. Sorry you're going to miss the big game. It's the worst. Never mind. The junkyard. I wonder if Leroy's home. I always keep a keen eye on the scrap electronics. I found some sweet radio stuff in there in the past. The TV VCR combo, the pinnacle of home entertainment systems. This thing's actually in pretty good condition. I wonder if it works. I'm sure Leroy won't mind if I borrow it. Hey, Morton. Hey, buddy. Never mind. Look hey! Thanks, Hopper! Can you get the game on it? I hope so. Just give me a minute. Oh, oh boy. Oh, boy. Okay, let's see. Oh, hold up. I need to insulate the exposed wires before I connect the cable to the outlet. I don't want to be responsible for electrocuting Morton. Not again. This should do the trick. Dang, it's not working. Aw, oh, man. It won't turn on. Guess that's why it got junked. Maybe I should take a look inside.
Let's have a look. Aha! Uh -huh. The connection is broken by a cold solder joint. Can you fix it back at your place? What do you think, Mort? Hello there. Hey, what can I get you? Barkeep, give me a drink. Barkeep? Give me a beer. Sure. You got your ID? ID? No problem. Um, uh, I guess I must have left it in my other pants. I can't serve you unless you can prove you're over 21. Uh, I can sing the entire Samurai Squad theme song. The original, not, not the remake. No ID, no alcohol, buddy. I see you threw a pregame party. Sure did. You're welcome to stay and watch it with us. I like your banner. Thanks. Times like these, you gotta do what you can to keep smiling. We even watched a bunch of classic Seagulls games on tape. It was great. Boo! Seagulls suck! <laughs> so how's the game going? Pretty exciting. You should watch it with us. We could use a few more raccoon supporters over here. If I wanted to see grown men fight over a piece of leather, I'd go to Discount Shoe Mart. They're showing the game there, too? Ah. What do you think of Yelltown Fever? It's just terrible. Bar takings are way down. I guess a health scare keeps people at home. Worse, they start doing yoga and probiotic yogurt. It's the end of the world as we know it. I'm looking for Hellowell. Uh, for who? Hellowell, a reporter for the Times. I don't know a Hellowell. Sorry, buddy. Well, I better go. Later. Okay, let's repair this bad boy. That should do it. Huh, I knew I left my ID in here. Okay, Mort, here you go. Did you fix it? Can you put the game on? Sure, buddy. Oh, thank you, Hopper. It's working, but I don't think I can get Cable Sports HD on it. Hi. Hey. Howdy. What are you guys up to? We're watching the big game. What else? The raccoons are about to pound the seagulls. Dream on. The seagulls got this in the bag. You wish. How's the game going? It's looking good. The goals are in the lead. Not for long. Seagulls still in the lead? Boo. Sure are. What a game.
What's with all these old videotapes? We had an awesome pregame party this afternoon. Ah, uh, yeah, awesome. We watched five decades of Seagull's highlights to get us in the mood. Sounds fun. Oh, it was amazing. When we crushed the Vandals in the playoffs, my personal highlight. Boring. The division final between the Seagulls and the Wolves? Oh, man. Mondo boring -o. Only one game against the Raccoons. And naturally, the Raccoons got their asses handed to them. <sighs> That Vandals game was a classic. Yeah, it was this drizzling June evening back in 78. And the Vandals were pummeling you into the dirt. Yeah, until the last quarter. Did you ever see a more amazing comeback? I remember that Wolves game. I tell you, Evan Taylor played the game of his life. It was a fluke. Fluke nothing. Taylor was a genius. Six touchdown passes? Must have been May 1999. What a day. I'm sure the Seagulls versus Raccoons game was fun to watch. Oh, boy! You got lucky that time, Merle. 86 was a long time ago. We got a score to settle. Bring it on. Anyway. Let's talk about the pregame party. Not again. I remember that Wolves game. I tell ya, Evan Taylor played the game of his life. It was a fluke. Fluke nothing. Taylor was a genius. Six touchdown passes? Must have been May 1999. What a day. Anyway. Do you know someone called Halliwell? Sure do. Halliwell White, running back for the Seagulls, 92-94. I think he meant a guest, Merle. Sorry, we don't know any Halliwell. Did you hear about that disease? Oh, we heard about it. Real frightening. That's why we took safety precautions. I'm wearing my Lucky Seagulls boxers. What? How are they going to help? That's what I told them. Lucky boxers indeed. Useless compared to my lucky raccoons, brah. I gotta go. See you later. Goodbye. Hmm. Let's see if this one could come in useful. Hmm. Let's see if I'll put. Ooh, thanks, buddy. You're welcome. Fishy, fishy, Sir. Port Nicola Times News Desk. I'm afraid the night editor is just leaving. 
Hey, sorry to bother you. I have an inquiry about a journalist called Hellowell. Hellowell? Oh, Hellowell. Yes, she's done some freelancing for us recently. She has. Anything I might have read. She's contributed to our coverage of the outbreak in Yelltown. May I ask what this is regarding? I have a message for her. You can leave your message with me, and I'll pass it on when she checks in. Uh, no, I need to give it to her. I think it's pretty urgent. I'm sorry, sir. I just can't give out personal information. Yeah, I, I get it, but... Thank you for calling. Town Times answer phone. If you're interested in placing an ad, please. Amazing. There actually are some guests in this hotel. Uh, no hello well, though. Hello, is that, uh, Mr. Hubbard? Oh, why, yes. Vern Hubbard here. I'm looking for a reporter called Helliwell. Reporter, eh? You writing a story? No, I'm just trying to find Helliwell. Helliwell? That your source? No, I... If I was you, I'd call up all the guests in the hotel and interrogate them. Thanks for the tip. Are you gonna put me in your story? Um, sure. Take care now. Hello, Miss Clark. This is Octavia Clark. I read an interesting article in the paper today. Read an article, did you, hun? Okay, you got me. Hope you're happy. Octavia Clark isn't your real name, is it? Great work, Kreskin. Who do you work for, Inquirer? Or are you one of Daddy's goons? Can a real estate heiress check into a hotel without you jackals swooping like a flock of wolves? Um, sorry. Wrong number. Hello, uh, Ursula James. This is the front desk. What do you want? I read an interesting article in the paper today. The Port Nicola Times printed a piece about this Yelltown fever business. They... did they? I don't know anything about the outbreak. I'm just here for bird watching. You should read it. It's super interesting. It's really well written and informative. Well, the Port Nicola Times is a quality paper. What's it got to do with me? I'm just a bird watcher. Apparently, a rare golden eagle has been sighted in this area. You seen the Yelltown Eagle yet? The Yelltown Eagle? Everyone around here knows the Yelltown Eagle. I'm sure someone in the bird watching society would have mentioned it. Oh, the Yelltown Eagle. Yes, of course. A magnificent creature. The Yelltown Eagle was a dive bar shut down a year ago. Oh, crap. Miss Halliwell, I have a message for you. I think it's important. Would you mind if we met in person? My ear kind of aches from the phone. Jesus Christ. Okay, go down into the hotel bar and wait for me there. H how do I know you won't leave the hotel? You don't. Hello? Hello, well? My name's Harper Pendrel. You got a message for me? Actually, I have this envelope. 
I, I didn't open it or anything. How did you get this? It was pretty bad. I ran into this lady in the street, and she... Well, I'm pretty sure she had Yelltown fever. She was too sick to walk. God damn it, Patty. Tell me the whole story. I called in RHC. Before they took her away, she told me to bring you that envelope. How come RHC didn't take you away, too? I, um... I, I ran off. You ran off? Seriously? What if you caught the infection? Relax. I got tested. I'm fine. It's years since I got sick. My immune system is like a ninja or something. Now, can you drop the secret agent crap and talk to me? I don't trust you, Pendril. What does it say? <sighs> That's incomprehensible. Some kind of code or formula. There are numbers and wave-like symbols. Why would Patty bother with this Nancy Drew crap? I don't think it's a code exactly. Those are electronic symbols. Something to do with radio frequencies. What are you, a radio engineer now? I'm just a handyman, but I dabble. Well, I don't need your help, handyman. I think you do need my help with that message. Well, maybe. I got all kinds of electronic stuff at home, see? Would you let me take a look at the note? Well, how do I know I can trust you? You can definitely trust me. I've got no idea what's happening, and I'm not smart enough to double-cross anyone. But I'm good with electronics, and I feel like I owe it to that lady. Well, okay, but make a copy of it. That's right, ladies. It's my ham radio. Hey, Hyper, we love you. Your ham radio is so cool. Calm yourselves, ladies, please.
what's this? Field experiment phase one. What the hell? 31st of July. Yelltown unit. Yelltown? 5th of August. Arbutus Hill unit. What is this? Field experiment phase three. 11th of August. I better get Hallowell. Well, what do you think? Very interesting. You did good, Harper. I've come across number stations before, but nothing like this. The Yelltown date. It's today's date. That's a little... scary, isn't it? What does it mean? I think it means... something is going to happen here tonight. What kind of something? That's what I want to find out. Is this connected to that infected woman? Well, this is the message she wanted me to hear. Is it about Yelltown fever? Some kind of quarantine, maybe? Hmm. I don't know. <sighs> Thanks for your help, Harper. I really appreciate it. I'm Jane, by the way. Thanks. I'm Harper. Yes, I know you are. Geez, you ever have a day where you regret getting out of bed? You call this crummy mattress a bed? For your information, that is a very expensive astronaut mattress. Which astronaut? Like of the space dog? No. Hey! See ya, Harper. Come get me at the hotel if you find any more cryptic messages. Hey, hello all. Hey, Harper. So, you're writing a story about Yelltown fever. Oh, I'm trying to, but I keep hitting dead ends. I tried the RHC camp, but they wouldn't even talk to me. I was hoping to get a solid lead from Patty and, well, you know. But that radio message confirmed one thing. Something stinks here in Yelltown. Oh, that? That's Mrs. Denman's tabby. Hilarious. Have you actually been to the RHC treatment camp? Yep. Those guys do not appreciate the Lost Tourist Act. Why do you ask? Oh, no reason. Just being a good listener. So the Port Nicola Times sent you here? Well, kind of. I'm freelance. Swanky! No, freelance means ramen. Much ramen. But I'm onto something here. I can feel it. When I publish this story, they'll have to give me a staff job. Maybe my own column. So, what's wrong with ramen? What do you know about Yelltown fever? About the disease itself? Probably not much more than you. No one knows what it is or how it spreads. We just know it kills fast. Ugh. Senator Thurlow says RHC have the disease contained and everything is under control. But then I get a weird message from a source telling me to come to Yelltown. You came to Yelltown to meet your source. Using a fake name, Patty told me to be cautious. Super cautious. Patty, the, the lady who... Exactly. But apart from that radio message, I don't know who she was or what she wanted to tell me. Bummer. What Senator Thurlow got to do with this? Don't you read the papers? Imagine, for a moment, that I do not. You do know her. She's the one who wants to set up a global health initiative to wipe out disease. Yeah, the lady from the health committee for something, something. The House Committee on Healthcare. I interviewed her back when she became chair. She's a smart cookie. Thurlow put RHC in charge here in Yelltown. I hope she knows what she's doing. You don't trust RHC? Oh, I don't know. RHC is the most successful private health contractor in the Northern Hemisphere. They've handled crises like this before and come out of it with gold stars. And yet? And yet I got nothing. 
Just a hunch. See ya. See you later, Harper. Hello there. Hey, what can I get you? About that drink. What's your poison? Give me a beer. Sure. You got your ID? Of course. Here it is. Cool. Here you go. Thanks. Okay, let's have a look. Oh, holy moly. The engine's been stripped. I think the engine needs some more coolant. That's the radiator. Looks like a copper brass alloy. Dang, the car battery is missing. Oh, there are two spark plugs missing. This car is in ridiculous condition. It looks like the fan belt is missing. At least the oil level is fine. Jake, even what a crankshaft. Narts, the radiator hose has a huge leak. Oh my Jesus, a pain atomizer. Oh man, these things are so cool. I always wanted one of these for my model planes, but Calvin said they made too much mess. I wonder if this baby still works. I'm sure Leroy wouldn't deny me a chance to fulfill a childhood dream. Leroy drinks enough, no need to encourage him. Hey Leroy. Hey Hopper, how you doing? How's the junkyard business? Ah, oh, things have changed since you used to work for me, Hop. Yes, sir. Things have changed. Leroy, you're currently watching a football game instead of working. Things haven't changed that much. <laughs> you mind if I borrow some bits of junk from the yard? Working on a new project, huh? Sure, take what you need. But please leave all the car parts. I'm turning a good profit on them right now. Um, actually... I'm trying to fix this broken down car. Could I please take some spare car parts from the junkyard? Harper, you know I'm always ready to help a buddy. You done me more good turns than I can count. Oh, thanks, Leroy. But car parts fetch a good price. I might need just one more good turn. Sure. What do you want? Could you get me a drink? I'm dying of thirst here. The hotel bar won't serve me after I... You know, with the thing. Yeah, I remember. I don't. I blacked out after the fondue fountain. Come on, buddy. Just bring me a drink and you can have whatever car parts you need. Okay, okay. It's a deal. Talk to you later. Bye, Hop. Here's your drink, Leroy. Ooh, thanks, Hop. You come talk to me about those car parts anytime. Hey, Leroy. Hey, Hop. About those car parts. Yep. I need some coolant. Yeah, Jake had some bottles of coolant in his garage. I picked them up when he left. Better than let the teens try to drink them or smoke them, am I right? Very thoughtful. Ain't I a saint? So, can you give me a bottle of coolant? Which kind you need? Um, are there different kinds? Sure, take a look. Wow, what's the difference? Use the wrong one and your radiator's kaput. 
That's the difference. You really don't want to put organic coolant into a copper brass radiator, no sir. Right. I need a bottle of G18. You sure about that now? I know what I'm doing. All right then, here you go. Thanks. Do you have a fan belt? Nah, no resale value. Oh, damn it, I need one. You could always try jewelry rigging it with something elastic. Is it safe to jury rig a fan belt? Sure, I mean, what is safe anyway? I'm here, drinking in the junkyard. The junkyard is hurtling through space on a rock. Have a sense of perspective, why don't you? What about a car battery? Yeah, I was using one to jumpstart a tractor early in the week. Seemed to have plenty of juice in it. You say you have a car battery somewhere? I had it out when I was helping the farmer change tires. Darn thing can't have gotten far. Do you have any spark plugs? Nah, unless there might be some in the old car engine hanging on the crane. Great. Can I have them? Sure, if you can get it down yourself. I'm watching the game. Sure thing. Do you have a radiator hose? I do. I tried to use it to connect a gas cylinder to my stove, but it wasn't the right size for the nozzle. Thought I'd better give up before I blew the caravan to kingdom come. Let's talk about... You hear about this, uh, Yelltown fever business? Yeah, ain't nothing Yelltown can't handle. I don't know. I think it's pretty serious. In my time, I've seen floods, snowstorms, rains of frogs, earthquakes, volcanoes. There's no volcano in Yelltown, Leroy. Yelltown folk can handle one little plague. That's what I'm saying. Are you watching the game? Of course. I never miss the big finale. Want to join me? No, thanks. I got too much on my mind today. Not me. <laughs> Have the goals won yet? Don't jinx it, Hop. The raccoons are catching up. Things are getting serious. I received a very strange radio message. There are places and dates. Something about Yelltown tonight. What are you telling me here, Hop? I don't know. Maybe something bad is going to happen here tonight. You're talking a little paranoid there, buddy. Why not take a break and watch the game with me? Uh, some other time, maybe. Just take care of yourself tonight, okay? Talk to you later. Bye, Hop! Let's have a look here. Ah, there it is. I found the battery. Neat! Okay, gas cylinders, gas cylinders. Ha, this looks like a radiator hose. Mm, ugh, it's stuck. Hey, Leroy. Hey, Hop. About those... Yep. The lever controlling the crane seems to be stuck. Yeah, the old girl might need some greasing, if you know what I mean. I do. At least I hope I do. Let's talk about something else. Talk to you later. Bye, Hop! Let's see here. A couple rusty hubcaps and an old hairdryer. Nah. I wonder what's in this pile. Nah, nothing but a chewed up grocery cart.
Ah, my multi-tool. Let's shorten this a little. Use this hose to siphon off a little oil. Okay, so I just have to suck in a little and then. <laughs> oh, well, it worked. Blech. At least the oil. Better not cool that. Okay, I'm pretty sure this is the right coolant. I can't make those things work together. That should do the trick. <laughs> hey, there are some spark plugs in that engine. Okay, Mrs. Denman's underwear is worth more than she knows. I fixed the car. McBride will be like, Oh, Harper, you're, you're, you're so good at fixing cars. And I'll say, Ah, don't mention it. I fixed the car. McBride. I fixed the car. Jake's compressor. These things are expensive. Jake wouldn't leave it lying around unless he wasn't planning to come back. Hmm, the RHC outfits do look a lot like the professor's old bio suit, except they have a big red stripe across, and the RHC insignia on the chest. Huh, that could work. I'll cut the tip of the nozzle to free the glue. Done. Okay. Ugh, sticky. Yes, this will work. Hmm. The atomizer nozzle is blocked with dried paint. This should do the trick. Okay. Okay. Maybe I can add that red stripe with the paint atomizer. Hey, that worked pretty well. I'm a true artist. Looks like I have a pretty convincing RHC outfit on my hands.
Hey, Professor. Hello, Harper. Uh, I think the suit is ready. Wonderful, Harper. Well done. And I got your car working, too. Excellent. Then we're all set. Except, in spite of my best efforts, I haven't been able to locate the RHC treatment camp. Ha! You're in luck, Professor. I think I just met someone who knows where the camp is. Marvelous! Wait here. I'll go talk to her. So, where is the RHC treatment camp? I'll tell you what, Harper. I'm going to show you where the camp is. Great! But I'm coming with you. What? Why? You're planning to sneak inside the camp, right? Never. Okay. Well, if you were planning to sneak inside, I could use some undercover pictures for my story. Great idea. That ought to make things easier for the cops when they arrest me. Hey, if you don't want to know where it is. <sighs> okay, have it your way. But no pictures of me. Happy to oblige. When do we leave? No time like the present. Let's go. Oh, I hate this suit. I'd say that suit is the least of your worries. A radio message. My goodness. What do you think it means, Professor? I think it means we ought to work fast. Take the syringe and draw the blood sample, just like I showed you. I remember, Professor. It's just like when I had to give my mom her shots. Except backwards. Uh, yes. Are we really going ahead with this? Stop worrying, Harper. You did a good job. Your disguise is very convincing. This is our best shot at getting a blood sample from that unfortunate woman. Just act like you know what you're doing. Get in, get out. Professor McBride, do you think Patty... Could she still be alive in there? <sighs> well... Let's find out. Hey, before you go... Yes? Take my camera. See if you can get some pictures from inside? Sounds like you'd like to wear this gross disguise. I'd love to, but you don't have it in my size. It's gotta be you, Harper. God damn it. Just get me a few pictures of the facility. Anything interesting, anything out of place. But try to be respectful of Patty. If she's... if she's still... All right, I'll see what I can do. Thanks, buddy. Can I see your ID? Um, beg your pardon? Your ID card. Let me see it. I must have dropped it. What the? How? It should be fastened to your suit. What happened? Did you meet resistance? Yeah, I, uh, huh. I guess it got knocked off. Eagle and flight. Who is this? Gary? That figures. What if someone got hold of your ID, Gary? Go back and find it. Now! Aren't you a little short to be an RHC emergency guy? No, the suit fits perfectly. What are you talking about? It was a... Oh, never mind. The guard won't let me through. He wants some ID card. It's hopeless. You're not getting out of that suit this easily. Keep looking. We have to find a way in. 
Are you sure going in there is a great idea? Yes, I'm sure. I mean, this is pretty much your last chance to back out of the plan, if you want to. Nope, I'm good. You'll be fine. Great, good. Well, talk later, hopefully. Good luck, Harper. The multi-tool will make short work of this. Hey! That's not the way in! Uh, sorry. Hey, hello, Al. I think I might be able to break in through the fence. Hmm, that could work. I distract the guard while you sneak inside? Really? Are you sure? Nope. I already tried the Lost Tourist Act on this guy once, and he did not go for it. But it's worth another shot. Come on. You again. Guten Abend. I told you to get out of here. Wohin fahrt diese Bus? Not open to the public. Can ich bitte die Weinkart sehen? Ist das glutenfrei? Listen, lady. The evergreens don't look so green around here. Okay. must be in one of these tents. Huh, it's almost empty. The medical stuff must be in the other tent. There's no patients here. Hello, I will want pictures of this. Hey! Crap. What are you doing there, recruit? I lost something in here. You know personal belongings have no place in the field, recruit. What is your designation? Field experiment phase one. 31st of July, Yeltan Union. Field I'll deal with this breach of protocol two. later. Let's move Fifth out. August, yes, ma'am. Arbiters Hill Unit. Field experiment phase three. 11th of August, Greystone Union. What? What the hell is Field happening? Field experiment phase four. Harper, is that you? What's happening? I, I don't know. Did you get the blood sample? I, I couldn't. She wasn't in there, and, and I dropped the camera. I'm, I'm sorry. What happened? That alarm sounded, and the RHC guys all grabbed these, these weird canisters. I think they're heading toward Yelltown. We can get a better view from that hill. Come on. They're really doing it. Good Lord. What's happening? They're spraying some kind of antiviral? No, I believe... I believe they're spreading the pathogen itself. Jesus Christ! Deliberately spreading the disease? That's insane. Why? Oh, this is what Patty was trying to warn us about. God damn it! Can't we stop them somehow? It's too late, Harper. You know how fast this disease acts. We should get out of here while we have the chance. But what if I... What if I got you a sample of the disease? Those canisters, they must contain the pathogen. The canisters? Hmm. Harper, do you think you could follow them and bring back one of those canisters? Okay, I'll do it. Thank you, Harper. It may be too late for our friends in Yelltown, but this is our only chance to save other people. Okay. Get the car ready. I'll be back soon. I hope you know what you're doing. Me too.
Hey, what are you doing? You aren't following proceed. Uh, Wait a minute. Experiment compromised. Repeat. Hey, you, where is your apparatus recruit? I, um... What's your designation? Well, actually... All agents, experiment compromised. Elimination in progress. Ah! If only I had some kind of weapon or something. Where is your... Die. What's your... Well... Ah! Jeez. Is it as hard for them to see out of their visors as... Jeez, that was close. Stop right there. What? I... Try calling your buddies and I'll make that suit look like Swiss cheese. You... I saw what you guys did. What the hell is happening here? I'm gonna be generous and give you one chance to explain yourself. I'm tri- Thanks for tuning in to Backwoods Radio. This is Bobby. And the Duke. Coming up later in the show, Bobby's Hot Topic. Today's topic is roadkill. Deadly or delicious? Call in, let us know what you think. Meanwhile, here's Duke with today's top news stories. The Rancho Health Corporation has extended its quarantine to cover the entire Yelltown area. It's not yet known how many people have been affected by the unidentified viral infection. CEO Patrick Rancho spoke to BWET earlier. The outbreak is now securely contained, and we are providing Yelltown with truly world-class treatment. Meteorologica has issued a severe weather warning tonight. Wakey, wakey, sunshine. I 
just had a real interesting telephone call with the old chain of command. Turns out I didn't see what I thought I saw over in Yelltown. Guess I must have got confused, right? Because I thought I saw you and your RHC buddies murdering innocent people. Guess I need to get my eyes tested, eh? The thing is, I didn't get round to telling anyone I had one of you RHC goons in my basement. You've been here for a week now. I'm getting a little impatient. You want to tell me the truth? I'm innocent. I told you a million times. I, I've got nothing to do with what happened in Yelltown. <sighs> That's disappointing. I don't work for RHC. You gotta believe me. You expect me to buy that cockamamie disguise story? Think very carefully and give me something I can believe. I'm trying to find a cure for the disease. I know your cover story, kid. But what's in that canister, Pepto-Bismol? I can see I'm wasting my time here. I'm gonna have to terminate this interview. Wait, no! Ah! Gosh darn it, not the radio! Oh jeez, it's broken! Are you just gonna leave me like this? Quit whining. I'll see to you once I get this radio working. You know, I, I could probably fix that radio. Just shut your yap a minute. Oh, darn it. The lightning probably blew the fuse. It's probably the fuse. If the fuse box had tripped, the lights would be out. I mean, it's probably a fuse in the radio case. Just, just let me take a look at it. Hmm. You seemed real scared when that lightning struck. Well, I, I thought you were gonna shoot me. You screamed like a Girl Scout. That was a battle cry. Oh, yeah? Tell you what. If your handyman story is true, fix my radio. Okay, let's see. Ah, uh, blown views. I told you so. Well, fix it then if you're so smart. I'll see what I can do. Aha! Uh -huh, a clue. Wait, this isn't a clue, it's just a grody old cigarette box. A box of Qatar Slims. It's empty, apart from this aluminum foil. Huh, I can bypass the broken fuse with the aluminum foil from the cigarette box. Let's see. Well, I'll be. You did it. Are you gonna tie me to the thing again? Well, if your story's true, let's hear that radio signal you told me about. Um, the signal was pretty faint. I'm not sure your radio... I, I mean, I'll try. Well, it's actually pretty strong. Mm -hmm. Come on upstairs. I'll make some coffee. Thanks for the coffee. It was great. My dad's blend. At least I could do after tying you up and all. My name's Aberrain Jervis. I'm the park ranger here in Greystone Woods National Park. A park? I thought you were some renegade cop. No, I'm a renegade park ranger. A whole lot worse. Well, I've wasted a lot of time. I have to go back to Yelltown. There's nothing to go back to. What those people did there. Hard to look at. I hope your friend and that professor made it out. I'm sure they made it. And I have to get that canister to Professor McBride. Listen, I won't let you go hitchhiking to nowhere with a plague canister in your fanny pack. For all I know, you're just an RHC goon who's a good liar. So, what do we do? Here's the thing. I heard that signal of yours before. Breaking in on the car radio, on walkie-talkies, and the symbol on that canister. I've seen that before, too. Somewhere in Greystone Woods. You mean, is there an RHC camp here, too? Maybe. 
There have always been stories about people hiding out in the deep forest. I bet you dollars to donuts your signal is coming from right here in Greystone. Then we should get out of here. Chicken out if you want, but the canister stays here. Anyway, I, I thought you wanted to help your friends. <sighs> so I guess we look for the source of that signal? Wrong. You look for the source of that signal. I stay here and blow the kneecaps off any yellow suit tries to get this canister. Um, okay. Well, I guess I should be able to triangulate the signal. Triangulate? How's that work? I'll need a map and a portable radio. If I can pick up the signal from the two highest points in Greystone, I should be able to tell where it's coming from. Well, I can give you a map, so that's a start. And if you got any questions about the area, sling them my way. should pick the two highest points. This isn't one of them. Hmm. There must be... Okay, this should be one of the highest places I can get to. Yeah, this looks like one of the highest spots in Greystone. Locked. If you're missing your beam, I can tie you up again any time. Uh, no thanks. I'm good. Hey. Hey, how you getting along? Hey, about that signal. What do I do when I find the source? Look for anything that makes sense of what these people are doing. At the very least, you can shut that darn transmission off. Okay, I think I can do that. But watch your back, they might still be there. How come you can't find the source of the radio signal? You're a park ranger. You should know this place better than anyone. Dad taught me. I know the forest better than the trees know it, but Greystone is big. We can't go check all the empty hides, lodges, and bomb shelters. Didn't you say you could triangulate the signal? I need to find the two highest points in Greystone. That'll give me the best chance of triangulating the signal. Why don't you use the map I gave you? The elevations are marked on there. Do you have a radio I can borrow for the triangulation? No portable radios, no. Sorry. You really think people are hiding out in the woods? Dad never believed it, but I've heard strange things. Seen strange lights in the forest? I know, I know, it sounds like a stupid B-movie plot. Hmm. I wonder if the people in the woods had something to do with the attack on Yelltown. Let's talk about something else. Any idea where you saw the symbol from the canister? Carved into a tree, painted on a rock? No, no, I would have remembered that. It just feels very familiar, but I can't place it. <sighs> That's not much to go on, but I'll keep an eye out. We're in the middle of nowhere, aren't we? Just north of it, actually. Greystone Woods is a beautiful, wild national park. Lots of trees. Oh, yeah. Greystone Woods is famed for its coniferous forests. Exciting. What did you want from me again? The streets seem pretty quiet. We call them paths here. Enjoy your visit and don't tread on any bear traps. What's that weird smell? Nature. Oh. This place is weird. I prefer Yelltown. Oh, I guess vistas of outstanding natural beauty can't compete with the Yelltown junkyard, eh? At least everyone here isn't dead. That was harsh. Hmm. Well, sorry. I just don't like hearing folk talk bad about Greystone is all. Mm -hmm. 
Any idea where you saw the symbol from the canister? Carved into a tree and painted on a rock? No, no, I would have remembered that. It just feels very familiar, but I can't place it. <sighs> That's not much to go on, but I'll keep an eye out. See you later. Goodbye. The door is locked. If you're missing... Uh... Hello. Yep. What are you doing there? Protecting my farm, stranger. Storm knocked out the power. Lights ain't working. Electric fence ain't working. What do you need to protect your farm from? Wolves, coyotes, snapping turtles, all manner of varmints and carnivorous critters. Uh, I don't see any critters around here right now. You want bears trampling your flower beds? Be my guest. I'm gonna defend my property. So, uh, did lightning actually strike your house? Came mighty close. Killed the power. And my cows near enough soil their britches. <laughs> your cows wear britches? Nice radio. Mm-hmm. Would you mind if I borrowed it? No can do, stranger. As long as I'm stuck here, that radio's my only entertainment. But I really need a radio. Well, I reckon we could come to some kind of arrangement here. An arrangement? I'm real hungry, but I gotta stay here. Fetch me something good to eat, and I'll lend you my radio. What do you want to eat? You been to the diner? Rhonda fixes a fine sandwich. If you fetch me one with hot sauce, I reckon I can spare the radio for a time. Got it. I'll be back with your vittles soon, partner. Hmm. Don't make me use this firearm, boy. Yeah! Jesus! They should call that thing a scare harper. Harwood Energy. Discharge channel. Looks like the power company is channeling stormwater through this meadow. Huh, look at these little pepper pods. <laughs> hey, they smell good. Hi there. Hi, honey. What can I get you? Could I get me something to eat? Feels like I haven't eaten in a week. Well, you came to the right place. I make the best BLTs. Want to give one a try? Yeah, why not? You want sauce on that? What are the options? Classic tomato catsup, surprisingly mellow mustard, buffalo barbecue smoke, sweet lemon garlic mayonnaise, and super spicy chipotle lava. A classic tomato catsup, please. Classic tomato catsup it is. Thanks. That's four ninety, please. Okie dokie. 
I wonder if this makes the sauce a bit more like super spicy chipotle lava. Hello. Yep. I better get... Mm -hmm. Here, I got you one of Rhonda's BLTs with hot sauce. Ah, now that's what I call hot sauce. Thanks, son. You can take the radio. Thank you. A deal's a deal. Okay, I think this place is where the signal is strongest from both positions. This must be where the signal is coming from. Huh, that might come in handy. Hello. Yep. Could your tractor move a really big tree? I reckon she could do just that. She's a beast. Could I borrow it for a little while? Are you conversant with the phrase, when hell freezes over? Mm, yes. You understand the import of that saying? Y no. No one but me drives that tractor. And I can't leave this porch till that pair of prairie oysters at the hydro plant get the power going. Would you tow the tree if I got your power back on? Well, sure. I reckon I'd be obliged to you. I ain't got a cable winch, though. You better get yourself one. Okay. There's a hydro plant? Sure is. Big place. Powers a whole Greystone area. It's up north, hard by Lake Delilah. You mentioned prairie oysters? The hydro plant is run by two brothers. Always a feuding and fighting. Probably at each other's throats instead of fixing my power. I better go. Mm -hmm. It looks like you have to type in a password or something to get in. Positively, no swimming. More big industrial pipes. I guess that electricity doesn't generate itself. The water levels must be high after the storm. A pipe connoisseur could have a field day here.
What's up? I'm Harper. Just passing through Greystone Woods. Nelson Wiley. I guess I'm just passing through too. Cool uniform. I used to be a pizza delivery guy too. I'm not a pizza delivery guy. I work... Well, I worked up at the hydro power plant. Hey, did you know there's a whole farm with no power? <laughs> not getting along so well without me, eh, Ed? Ed, I'm Harper. Edwin, my co-worker. What's wrong with your co-worker? Ah, he's always beefing at me, calling me stupid, doofus, klutz, and that's why I walked out. Whatever I do is wrong. He always knows better, thinks he could do the job without me. Sounds like a bully. Yeah, well, if Ed's having trouble, that's music to my ears. <laughs> <laughs> I admire your work-refusing spirit. You're a hero. Ah, <sighs> it's not that I don't want to work. Just with that guy carping at me every five seconds, it's too much. He's on his own. Remind me why your coworker is such a bully. He's always criticizing me, calling me stupid, dimwit, doofus, klutz, telling me, not the staff. Maybe you should go back to work. No way. Do you know what his latest joke was? He actually changed my gate password to an insult. So he's making me insult myself before I even get through the gate. That's pretty darn low. What did you do at the hydro plant? Monitor the system, watch the circuits, control the distribution systems, fish out the local teens when they go skinny dipping in the reservoir. It's not bad work, but it can get pretty intense after a thunderstorm. Good thing I'm down here, huh? Catch you later. Bye. What the? Who are you? How did you get in here? Harper Pendrel, handyman. I'm here to fix your power plant and whatnot. What? This is absurd. Did my dim-witted brother put you up to this? Your brother? Nelson. That idiot has gone too far, sending some goon in here to annoy me. Wait, Nelson Wiley is your brother? I knew it. He's my brother, all right. But he takes after the catastrophically dumb side of the family. You've had your fun. Now get out and let me work. Did you know there's a nearby farm with no power? Oh, there is, is there? And you thought you'd just swing by and tell me how to do my job. <laughs> The whole plant is under huge pressure because of that darn thunderstorm. Connections blown. Water flow off the charts. Monitoring the pipe system is more than enough work for one person. I can't deal with distribution, too. Distribution is meant to be Nelson's job. Maybe I could help sort out distribution. Not in a million years. You think I'd let you stroll in here and operate sophisticated machinery? <laughs> I'd laugh if I wasn't mad as hell right now. Maybe you should ask Nelson to come back to work. The klutz master general? Never. You want to do me a favor? Tell Nelson to go jump in the lake. Jeez. Nelson was not exaggerating when he told me you were mean. You'd be mean, too, if you were dealing with all this pressure, figuratively and literally. Where does that door go? That's the control room, where my good-for-nothing brother ought to be fixing the distribution system. Why don't you go through there and fix the distribution system yourself? 
Why don't you go French kiss a rattlesnake? I'm busy. What's your problem with Nelson? My problem? You obviously don't have a brother who's a lazy, clumsy oaf. And that stupid mustache. He says you think you can do the job without him. You know what? I will do this without him. Better than having to clean up his messes all the time. Who's the elder brother? Who do you think? Well, you're the balder brother. <clears throat> I'm the older one. Knew it! You and Nelson give Cain and Abel a run for their money. I didn't take you for a biblical scholar. Biblical scholar? Uh, I was talking about the pro wrestlers. I better get going. Good idea. Hello? I thought I told you. I bet. Good. The door seems to be controlled by the panel to the side. Hmm. Okay. You know what? Up close, you're kind of cute. And I don't see any crows around. Let's give you a little break. But I'm not getting you a brain. You'd kill us all. All that does look beautiful. Hello? I thought I told you to scram. Hey, it looks like someone's swimming in the reservoir. What? No! When I said Nelson should jump in the lake, it's very dangerous to swim in the reservoir. Well, whoever's out there doesn't seem to be moving much. Oh, God! I have to get down there. And don't touch anything what's this huh This panel seems to be flashing. Hey! What the hell are you doing? Fixing the distribution system. Uh, don't be ridiculous. The system is far too... Hold on. You actually did it. That's very impressive. You're hired. No, 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 no. I just wanted to fix the power. I don't want a job. Ugh. Uh, but the distribution system needs constant monitoring. If you leave, it'll just... See what I mean? It takes talent and commitment to do Nelson's job.
Didn't you say Nelson was a useless doofus? Nelson drives me crazy, but I guess he was good at his job. I... I thought for a minute it might be Nelson down in the reservoir. Pick up the phone, man. Nelson's in the diner. You think? No, he'd never come back. Do it! Well... Uh... Hello? <clears throat> Can I speak to Nelson Wiley, please? Uh, Nelson! Nelson! I... Tell him you need him. Nelson, I need you to get back up here right now. Are you kidding me? Nelson! Go boil your head! Nelson, can't you see I'm trying to apologize here? Oh, really? Tell him you regret calling him names. Nelson, in the heat of the moment, I may have said one or two mean things. One or two mean things? Okay, okay. I'm a horrible groucher and I shouldn't have treated you like that. I'm sorry. Now use the word bro workers. <sighs> Can we be bro workers again? Well, what did he say? He's coming back to work. <laughs> yes. And I'm gonna try not to lose my temper so easily. Now get the hell out of my hydro plant before I call the cops. I could use this cable winch to help shift that big tree. I better ask Ranger Jervis, though. She'd blow a gasket if she caught me stealing it. Hey. Hey, how you getting along? I found your hidden radio station. You did? Was anyone still there? Nah, it looks empty. But there's a huge tree trunk blocking the entrance. I need to find a way of moving it. Can we use your car to tow the big tree away from the radio station? How big are we talking? Big. I'm surprised we can't see it from here. Forget it. Bessie wouldn't have the traction. You better find some other way to shift it. Say, can I take the cable winch from your car? I need it to remove the tree trunk from the radio station. I guess so, as long as I get it back. I promise. Thanks. Any idea where you saw the symbol from the canister? Carved into a tree, painted on a rock? No, no, I would have remembered that. It just feels very familiar, but I can't place it. See you later. Goodbye. That's far too tight. And with the extra leverage, I might actually be able to loosen the winch. Ha! Physics! You missed it, stranger. Power's back on. I know. I actually helped. Reckon I'd be keeping vigil all night, and then click. Yeah, I was the one who... Yes, those hardwood chuckleheads finally did something right. I guess they did. Now the power's back on. Can you help me move that tree? Well, 
You got that cable winch? I do indeed. What are we waiting for? Thanks, partner. Always glad to do a good turn, but uh, a word of advice. Yes? Call me partner again and you'll lose a tooth. Is that a book in the puddle? Hmm. It's half drowned, but it looks to be someone's diary. Time to switch off that damn signal. I guess this won't stop them attacking other towns, but it might slow them down, at least. All right, I guess that should do it. It's a painting of some big mountain with the sun behind it. Hey, wait a minute. The symbol from the virus canister is in the painting. Maybe this is why Ranger Jervis recognized it. This painting shows some trees in the forest. This painting also has the symbol on it. Hmm, a painting of some guy getting attacked by birds. This painting also has the symbol on it. Hi there. Hi, honey. What can I get you? Uh, one cup of hot black coffee, please. Coming right up. Hi there. Hi, honey. What can I get you? What kind of place is Greystone Woods? Oh, I love it. Folk here ain't as snooty as people in Port Nicola, and they ain't as dumb as Yelltowners. Hey, I'm from Yelltowner. I, I mean, I'm a Yelltown. Present company accepted, naturally. Just watch yourself if you go off the beaten track. Why do I need to watch myself? Well, I open pretty late every night. It's usually dark by the time I drive home to Lavender Valley. A couple of times last week, I heard something in the forest while driving. At first, I thought it was some huge truck, but I was the only car on the road. What exactly did it sound like? It started with loud bangs, like an engine backfiring. Could it have been hunters shooting? I know gunshots, honey. This was like a huge engine, a kind of grinding roar. Where did you hear the sound? I couldn't say. I heard it in different places. First one side, then the other. Might have been echoing off the Greystone rocks. So you have no idea what part of the woods the sound came from? I wish I did, so I could avoid it. There's something creepy out there. That's enough about the weird sound. Could I get me something to eat? Feels like I haven't eaten in a week. Well, you came to the right place. I make the best BLTs. Want to give one a try? Yeah, why not? You want sauce on that? What are the options? Classic tomato catsup, surprisingly mellow mustard, buffalo barbecue smoke, sweet lemon garlic mayonnaise, and super spicy chipotle lava. Actually, uh, I changed my mind. Well, let me know if you get hungry.
Did you hear about Yelltown? Oh, it's awful, isn't it? Just to think of those poor folk. I just came from there last week. It was... pretty bad. You were lucky to get out before the quarantine. At least you're safe now. I wouldn't be so sure. Something tells me it's gonna keep spreading. Now, now, I don't allow that kind of talk in my diner, honey. It's all smiles at Rhonda's. Who are those paintings by? Oof. They're by Cargero. You must have heard of him. He's a famous outsider artist. Lives right here in Greystone Woods. Where can I find Cardero? Well, he's retired from public life. He has a nice secluded spot out in the forest. I check on him every couple of days, bring him a few of the organic cupcakes he goes nuts for. You ought to leave him alone, though. He's none too fond of strangers. So, he's a reckless? Oh, my, no. Just a crotchety loner who never goes out. Cardero's a big cupcake fan, right? He likes my special organic cupcakes. He's very picky, only eats organic. That's why I always set aside a special batch of nut and cakes when baking. Nut and cakes? Cakes with nut and good in them. But they make Cardero happy, and that makes me happy. Do you know anything about the symbol in Cardero's paintings? No, not really. I mean, his work is so full of symbolism and hidden meaning. When he starts talking about it, my mind just boggles. But I do love hearing him speak so passionate. Could I get me something to eat? Feels like I haven't eaten in a week. Well, you came to the right place. I make the best BLTs. Want to give one a try? Yeah, why not? You want sauce on that? What are the options? <sighs> Classic tomato. Give me some super spicy chipotle lava. Oh, darn it, I forgot. Could you pick another sauce? Can I get the sweet lemon garlic mayonnaise? Sweet lemon garlic? Thanks. That's four nights. Okie doke. Hi there. Hi. What can you tell me about Ranger Jervis? Oh, you've met Colonel Jervis? Colonel Jervis? Colonel is what everyone around here calls her. It's just a nickname, but it really suits her, right? I'm sure glad we have her around. She really cares about protecting Greystone. She's a bit of a dragon, isn't she? She's a good person, you know. You'll be glad she's out there when you slip into a gully and twist your leg. Or when you're birthing a calf in the snow and the veterinarian's drunk and dressed as Santa Claus. Okay, sorry. I'll... How come everyone calls her Colonel Jervis? Well, that's what everyone called her father back when he was park ranger. He was in the military before joining the park service. Raised her pretty much single-handed. When she took over the job, she just sort of took over the name, too. She acts all mad when folk call her Colonel, but... I reckon she likes it, really. Let's talk about something else. Could I get me some... Feels like I have well, You came to... Yeah. You want sauce? What are the... Op Classic. Buffalo... Ooh, good... Thanks. <laughs> That's four ninety, please. Okie dokie. Brown, whole grain, no icing, no topping. These look kind of boring. They must be the ones Rhonda fixed for Cardero. Hi, Colonel. Stop calling me that. I switched off the radio signal. Nice work. Maybe we can't stop the disease, but at least we've stopped their clarion. What else did you find? Eh, someone's diary, but nothing about who's really behind all this. What about their symbol? Did you find anything out? Hi, Colonel. Stop call. I managed to find that symbol. It's on the pictures in the diner. Of course. I've seen Cardero's paintings a million times. Why would Cardero use the same symbol as the folk who attacked Yelltown? He's harmless. I mean, he's gone a little crazy living all alone in the middle of nowhere. <clears throat> I ain't crazy. Anytime I feel lonely, I just talk to Dad. 
Do you know where Cardero lives? Oh, yeah. He's holed up in the old Conifer Canyon military compound. Hmm. Conifer Canyon. See you later. Goodbye. Hello? No visitors. You're that artist, Cartero, right? No visitors. I have some cupcakes for you. Please, just get out of cupcakes. Leave them on the ground. What about my tip? You won't see a dime from Cardero and drop the cupcakes. No way. Let me in. No, nope. no visitors. Leave the cupcakes and go. I can't leave them out here in the woods. Health code violation. Health code violation. I can't leave these fine cupcakes in such an unsanitary forest. They could get covered with germs. Bring them through the gate. That Cardero guy must have dropped this. The Dust Bowl Rider, a Sheriff Cardero adventure. Cardero. Hmm. Hey, I thought you wanted your cupcakes. Just leave them by the door. What about the health regulations? Cadero's place is immaculately sanitary. Immaculate. Leave the cupcakes and go. Are you named after Cardero the cowboy? <sighs> you, you read Cardero books? Yeah, I'm a huge fan of Cardero. He's a mega brave cowboy, right? Actually, he's the sheriff. Mm -hmm. Fearless in the pursuit of justice. Do you think Sheriff Cardero would act all chicken if someone dropped by his place with cupcakes? Uh... Come on. Why don't you come out here and face these cupcakes? Mono, a mono. Uh, well, um... Wait there. Hello there. Hello. I saw some of your paintings in Rhonda's diner. You're, you're not an art critic, are you? No, no, no. I just noticed that they all have this strange symbol in them. No, 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 no. Cardero doesn't know anything about it. Nothing. You must remember painting the symbol. No, no recollection. It's all gone. Locked deep down. Listen. I really need to find out what that symbol... No, you! Listen, Cardero can't put some things into words. Put it into art instead. Hid it away. You hid something away? Something to do with that symbol? Took all the memories, poured them into the masterpiece. Locked them away in the... Ah, but you wouldn't understand. I would understand. I love arty farty crap. Tell me where you hit it. Mm -hmm. What do you think about the triptych? The trip what? What are you talking about? If you truly wish to understand the art of Cardero, go back to the diner. See the three paintings. Misery, Salvation, Dawn, the triptych. Talk to people. Learn the story. Find the meaning. Okay, so if I can get my head around this triptych, you'll tell me about the symbol, right? Cardero speaks to his art. Understand the triptych, and you may be ready to see the masterpiece. Ah, oh, jeez. I mean, thanks. I think I understand your triptych. You think Cardero's stupid? You didn't even leave. <clears throat> Sorry. We'll be back soon.
So these paintings are by an artist called Cardero. He must know something about where that symbol comes from. So these paintings are by an artist called Cardero. He must know something about where that symbol comes from. So these paintings are by an artist called Cardero. He must so he must know Hi there. Hi, honey. What can I get you? What do you know about those three paintings? The cryptic triptych? <laughs> you know, I think these three were part of a big transition for Cardero. He always used to say his art came from inside him, from his imagination. But when he came to the final painting, he started using real subjects. From life, he called it. I keep teasing, asking when he'll paint my picture. Do you know the names of the paintings? Truth be told, the names never made a lot of sense to me. I mean, I remember that the one with the sun is called Don. Naturally, it's my favorite. I think the others are called Salvation and Misery. But which is which? Search me. Maybe the true artists want to leave you wondering. I was just about to leave. See you later, honey. Hello. Yep. Have you heard of Cardero the artist? Artist? More like a crusty old shut-in. I've seen his art. It don't amount to much, if you ask me. Do you know anything about Cardero's triptych? His what? How well do you think I know the man? I mean, the, the three paintings in the diner. Oh, those eyesores. I don't know why Rhonda don't take him down. I was there when he brought in that big yeller son. Must have been the second or third he done. It'd look better than a hobo's campfire, if you ask me. I told him as much. He just eyeballed me like I was crazy. You mentioned one of Cardero's paintings? Yeah, the sun was the second or third one he'd done. But he should have quit before he got started. If you ask me, an artist has no business painting in this day and age. No siree. Am I the only one who remembers Marcel Duchamp? You mentioned... Yeah, was the second or third one. If you ask me, am I the only one? I better go. Mm -hmm. Hi, Colonel. Stop call... Do you know anything about Cardero's triptych? His what? The three paintings in the diner. He calls them Salvation, Misery, and Dawn. Ah, uh, yes. The forest was the only one that appealed to me. I know the place. It's a clearing in Greystone Woods. The trees are so tall and thin. Makes you feel like a kid again. Real peaceful. Do you remember what the forest painting was called? I always thought it ought to be named Salvation, being so peaceful and all. But he named one of the other two Salvation. Artists, huh? See you later. Goodbye. Hello again. Hello. I think I understand your triptych. Mm -hmm. Then tell Cardero about salvation. Salvation depicts a violent struggle. I think it's you fighting for your life, trying to escape something. Hmm. What about misery? Misery depicts a forest. Makes me think of a lonely child lost in the woods. Hmm. Now dawn. Dawn depicts a sunrise. The brightness kind of makes you forget how dark the other paintings are. 
What about the sequence I completed them? The first painting was Salvation. The second painting was Dawn. And the final painting was Misery. And what does the sequence tell you? Well, I feel like you're digging back into your past, like something you fought to get away from. Is that it? Did I get it right? There is no right and wrong in art. You found your own meaning. That means more. You are ready to see the masterpiece. Yes! Will you show me the masterpiece now? I have to find out what that symbol means. The masterpiece is hidden in a remote cave. Cadero will lead you there. You are ready to see it now. Cadero just doesn't know if he is ready to see it again. Follow. So, is this the place? How are we gonna find a masterpiece with all this junk lying around? Um, I think the junk is the masterpiece. Oh. Didn't Cardero tell you it was gonna explain everything? The ape climbs to the apex. Well, that's real good, but... The salamander eats its brother. You okay, buddy? Take out and shoot the three-legged mare. The worker at carries four times its weight. The eagle, the eagle, the eagle, the eagle, the eagle! Cardero! What do we do? Is it some kind of reaction to this place? I, I had a bad allergic reaction when I was a kid, and I nearly died. We need a doctor! Calm down, Pendrel. He does this sometimes. Not usually this bad, though. What, what, what was he saying? The eagle? The, the salamander? He can get stuck in a bad memory, is all. I'll stay with him and keep him safe. He's shivering cold. Can you make a fire? A fire? How? <sighs> Town folk. Can I take some of the firewood from your cabin? No way. I give you the key you could waltz off with that virus canister. Come on, I, I thought you wanted firewood. Oh, jeez, is this kid getting dumber? You're in a forest, jackass. Find some. Take this book and use your brain. Okay, let's get some tinder fungus. Could this be flint? These small branches might help me get the campfire going. Ugh, more stones. Could this be flint? I got enough small branches. I recognize this plant. It's in Jervis's book. Ugh, more stones. This dry wood looks perfect for a campfire. Let's see, what's this?
book said to scrape the tinder fungus. Okay, now I have some tinder flakes. The multi-tool. I don't want to cut that. I love my... This looks like a flint. Let's see. Woohoo! Sparks. Okay, let's see. Okay, let's try this. Yes, the tinder powder is smoldering. Okay. All right, looking good. It's burning. Okay, carefully now. Yes, the small sticks are starting to burn. Okay, firewood, it's all on you now. Yes, fire! <laughs> uh, I feel so manly right now. Congratulations, you're as manly as a ten-year-old boy scout. A personal best. We'll make a backwoodsman of you yet. Cardero? Talk to me, dude. Cardero. Come on, wake up already. Give him space. He's warm now. He'll recover in his own time. Last time he took a turn, he didn't say nothing for two days. I can't wait days. He knows what that symbol means. It might explain everything. Well, what are you gonna do? Hmm. What do you got there? Rhonda's coffee. I thought the caffeine might perk him up. Think again, mister. That stuff's full of additives and preservatives and all kind of heebly jeeblies. Cardero's diet is strictly organic. <laughs> I recognize this plant. It's in Jervis's book. Let's see. What's this? I recognize this pl Let's see. What's this? Recognize this plan. It's in Jervis's book. I think I've seen these in Jervis's book. A kettle? I'm sure that's not a crucial part of Cardero's artistic whatchamacallit. Uh, 
Okay, let's get some water. Let's boil that water. Mm-hmm, this will be tasty. What have you got there? It's Dahoon Holly tea. Dahoon Holly, eh? Good thinking. That might be just the thing to give Cardero a boost. Cordero, are you okay? This place... This place brings it all back. Ah, Cardero! I thought I broke your brain. The eagle is rising. What's so important about this place? I captured it in art. The room of indoctrination. The words. The noise. This represents the place where they tortured me. Tried to make me think like them. Can you remember what that symbol means now? It is the eagle, their seal. It means death for us all. Mm. Here, I was hoping it meant crawlers for us all. Who did this? They did this. The people in the woods, the ones who attacked your home, a death cult. My mother joined them when I was just a boy. They put their mark on me. Now, I need rest. No, I need to know more about this cult. <laughs> you will know more, but it's too late. I escaped them once. This time, no one will. I'll be damned if I'm gonna let a bunch of crackpots stroll around killing everyone. Then let me take that canister to Professor McBride. You know I'm not one of them. I don't have that ugly tattoo. Plus, I disabled that signal. True. You're okay, Pendril. Come down to the cabin. I got something for you. I'm sorry I didn't trust you sooner. Here, take the canister. Maybe I also should have shown you this earlier. A phone number? I sort of lied when I said I couldn't track down your girlfriend. That's her number. Hello, well. I have to call her, and she's not my girlfriend. Okay, whatever. You can use my phone. Thanks, Colonel. I mean, Ranger Jervis. Hmm. Hello. Hello, well? Harper? Is that you? We've been so worried. Where are you? I'm out in the boondocks, in the Greystone Woods Ranger Shack. Greystone? How did you get there? I was rescued by a kindly park ranger. Kindly? A park ranger? Stay where you are. I'll drive right over. Listen, hello well. I think I know who's behind the Yelltown attack. I even found the radio tower that transmitted your radio signal. The source of the signal? That's amazing. Did you get pictures? Uh, pictures? No, but I found this old diary. Can you get in there? We need all the evidence we can get. Sure, I'll try. I'll drive across from Port Nicola now. Meet you at the Ranger Shack in two hours? Okay. Harper, it's good to hear your voice. Y you too. You need pictures, eh? Yeah, I, uh... Take my camera. There's still a few pictures left on the roll. Thank you. Just get the bastards, okay? God, what's going on here? Hey, what, what are you doing there? Hello, hello. Just a little bit of tidying up. You must be the one who interfered with the transmission. Returning to the scene of the crime. Rookie mistake.
You're part of that crazy cult. Crazy cult? I'm just a cleaner, son. Stay back! I'm armed! I got one of your virus canisters, and I'm not afraid to use it. Do you know how to use it? What was the question? Did you ever wonder what the fever feels like? I... what? It feels like this. <laughs> if you've no objections now, I'll take this canister off your hands. Starting to get cold. You're listening to Backwoods Radio. This is Bobby. And the Duke. For two weeks now, listeners have been calling in worried about Yelltown fever. Joining us on the line now is Patrick Rancho, CEO of the Rancho Health Corporation. Mr. Rancho, has RHC lost control of the situation? Oh, thank you for having me on the show, Bobby. Duke? Uh, no, RHC has not lost control. In fact, we've been very successful in containing a highly contagious, unknown pathogen. Yelltown, or Buddha's Hill, now Greystone. Is it time people got out of Port Nicola, Mr. Rancho? Panic will only make it harder to keep people safe. Our doctors are getting better at treating this virus every day. They're working tirelessly to protect you and your loved ones. Please, stay in your homes and remain calm. Mm. Uh. 
Harper? Harper? Uh, what? What's going on? Ah! Oh, my head. Where am I? You're in Port Nicola, my apartment. We followed your tracks and found you out cold by that radio tower. Ranger Jervis told me everything about this cult. Thank God you're finally awake. I'm not sure she had anything to do with it, dear. Professor, he's talking. Good to have you back, Harper. What happened to you out there? Ugh, I, I need to get to a hospital. You're safer here. You can't trust hospitals, Harper. You don't understand. They infected me with Yelltown fever. You have to get away from me. Yelltown fever? Harper, you were feverish for a few nights. But you don't have the symptoms of the Yelltown virus. But the, the cold guy shot me with some virus thing. Your system took a beating, son. But you're not infected. Very strange, that. Let me take a blood sample and run some more tests. Ick. Okie doke. I'll call when I have the results. Try not to worry. So I'm... I'm all right? Get some fresh air and you'll be right as rain. Goodbye, Miss Halliwell. Thank you for taking care of me. Ah, yeah, McBride did most of the work. How are you feeling? Uh, okay, I guess. Ah, my head is pounding, though. Maybe you should take a walk. Relax a little. Did you pick up the virus canister when you found me? Virus canister? Damn. I guess the cult guy took it. Sorry, Harp. You did have that diary you told me about. Here. I also took the film out of the ranger's camera. Oh, good thinking. Have you looked at the photos Jervis took? Not yet. It's one of those old-fashioned analog cameras. The film needs developing, but I don't dare hand them over the counter at Photo Mart. I'm being super cautious, but this roll could contain explosive material. Oh, wow. Right. Not literally explosive. Oh, right. Have you found out anything about RHC? Whoever set the Greystone radio tower on fire knew what they were doing. There was nothing left by the time I arrived. So I've spent the last week doing traditional research. But for a major health contractor, RHC either had very light footsteps or very good lawyers. What's the link between RHC and the death cult from Greystone? Hard to say. Ranger Jervis set up a phone call with your friend Cardero. Cardero? Huh. I bet he flipped out after two minutes. Five, actually. He wanted to help, but he didn't know anything about Rancho Health Corporation. Huh. Do you think the cult is controlling RHC? That's terrifying option A. The corporation has been infiltrated by some crazy cult. And terrifying option B? The corporation was set up by the crazy cult. Is there a comforting option C? Nope. Who's in charge of RHC? Patrick Rancho. I haven't been able to confirm his DOB, but he's at least 60. RHC was formed through a merger in 92, and Rancho's been at the helm ever since. Can you get an interview with him? Ugh. RHC looks like an octopus with a million tentacles and no head. I've called every number, and I haven't got higher than the interns who do the photocopying. What else do you know about Patrick Rancho? Just that he doesn't like phone calls from nosy writers. Rancho must have gotten MC Escher to design his corporate structure. Everyone I talk to passes me on to someone else until I end up back at the start. Shouldn't we tell everyone what RHC is up to? We can't, not yet. RHC is too influential. If we told people what we saw, what some crackpot artist told us, we'd be lucky not to end up in straitjackets. No, we need hard evidence before we go public. When can we tell people what we know about RHC? When we have hard evidence. We can't risk going public too soon. Enough about RHC. Have you tried developing the Rangers photos yourself? I always sucked big time at chemistry. You're good with technical stuff. Why don't you give it a try? Me? <laughs> no way. 
I'll probably just set myself on fire. I'll quit it. Take the film. I guess I'll see what I can do. Talk to you later. Oh, before I forget, take this. A flash drive? What's on it? Naughty stuff? Pretty naughty, yeah. A hacking app for bypassing security protocols. It's not powerful enough to take on RHC-level mega encryption, but you might find some use for it. Hacking? All right. You are a cool person, Jane Hallowell. Yeah, whatever. It's super illegal, so don't leave it on the bus. Which reminds me, take this map. I don't want you wandering off into the woods again. Nice basket. I could see Hallowell filling it with flowers and riding around town. Have you actually met me? Oh, yeah. I'm taking that bike bump. I can't think of a situation this wouldn't be useful in. Are you still here? A bicycle patch kit. I'll swipe it while Hallowell isn't looking. I may not be looking, but I am listening. Well, I spent a lot of time living alone. A little red light, presumably for tiny sex workers. It's for my stiff neck, Harper. Working on the laptop is not so good. Whatever. Would you mind if I borrow the light bulb? I guess so, if you think it'll help. Baking powder. The F stop, kind of dirty name for a camera shop. Looks closed, but I can see someone in there. Hello? Sorry, bro. We're closed. How come you're closed? Look around you, pal. The town is dead thanks to this plague. I can't even get stock delivered. They're blocking pretty much every shipment coming into Port Nicola right now. I'd be tearing my hair out if it wasn't slick as hell. Why are they blocking shipments to Port Nicola? I don't know. I guess they think that's how the fever got to Yelltown? They're wrong. The fever didn't arrive by mail order. Whatever. Only basic necessities are getting through. Everything else gets checked and rechecked. Some pen pusher decided classic photographic equipment isn't a basic necessity. No way! I need to develop some photos? Going analog, eh? What type of film? I don't know. Uh, says... KF-20 on the spool. KF-20? No way. Seriously. Uh, why? What's KF-20? KF-20 is a super rare large format film from WW2. Huge, like, five-inch negatives. Great for landscapes. Cool that you found some. Let me see if I have any development kits left in the back. <sighs> Sorry, bro. All I have left is a display model, but it's missing one of the chemicals. What chemical is the photo development kit missing? The developing fluid. The developing fluid is important, right? It is, bro. You won't get far without it. Do you have any developing fluid in stock? No dice. Unless... Yes? If you really want to develop those snaps... I do. You could make yourself some caffeinol instead. What is caffeinol? Caffeinol is a homebrew photo developing fluid made of coffee. Your picks won't be the sharpest or the brightest, but hey, homemade developing fluid. How do I make caffeinol? You're gonna do it? Cool. Take some instant coffee. Not fresh coffee, not decaf, instant. Add some baking powder to it and boom. You've got yourself developing fluid. But you should add some vitamin C as well, or it'll take hours for the film to develop. Instant coffee, baking powder, and vitamin C. Sounds easy. Yeah. Here, take the development kit. You'll need it once you've made some caffeinol. Thanks, man. 
Remind me how you make instant coffee. Ah, talk to you later, bro. Well, hey there, old timer. Huh? Hello. Are you waiting for the restaurant to open? No. I'm exercising my rights as a private citizen to sit down and read my newspaper in a public square. Are you trying to curtail my liberties? No, no, no. I'm not trying to curtail anything. Good. What are you reading there? BS is what it is. BS. Baloney. Excuse my language. This yell town fever bullcrap. How dumb do they think we are? Do you realize that doctors, the doctors are the ones making people sick? Wait, what? Exactly. Vaccination, inoculation, fluoridation, unisex bathrooms. It's all a part of the liberal agenda. What was that about doctors making us sick? That's how they do it. With the GM foods and the gay marriage and... Right. You don't actually know anything about the Yelltown virus, do you? What do you expect when the papers print nothing but socialist BS? This magnifier just makes the lies bigger. Okay, take it easy, Pops. Do you read a lot? Oh, a hell of a... A hell of a lot. My eyes need a little help, but my mind is probably sharper than yours. You young folk are sleepwalking. Sleepwalking. Be speaking Chinese by Christmas, mark my word. Thanks for the warning. I'll be on my guard. That magnifier you're using looks pretty powerful. Yeah, it's pretty good. I got it at the public library. They give them away free to seniors. At the library? Waste of taxpayers' money, if you ask me. But at least I can keep myself informed. Where did you say you got that magnifier? They gave it to me at the library on account of my eyes. Cute girl I got working there. <laughs> Wouldn't mind getting a closer look at... Thanks for the information. You don't seem to be touching your coffee. Yeah. I had it with me since I caught the bus into town from Willowdale. It's freeze-dried instant crap. Smells okay, though. Instant? I could, uh, get rid of it for you. No. I couldn't face a lie these jokers print without a cup of coffee by my side. Even instant coffee is better than no coffee, bub. Your coffee's getting cold. Let me take that away for you. Move a muscle and I will yell for the cops. The smell of coffee is one of the few pleasures I have left. Even if it is instant crap, I won't let anybody take that away from me. Okay, okay. See you around. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. These look good. Can I get this orange? Yeah, go ahead. Excuse me. What can I get ya? Can I get something to drink? You look like you could use one of our fine filter coffees. Oh, I sure could. Okay. Here you go. That'll be seven bucks. Seven dollars? Don't you think overpriced tipster coffee is a bit... Shade. Yep. That's why this is an ironic postmodern pastiche of overpriced hipster coffee. Uh, right. Here you go. Come back soon. I have to sell a kidney first. The crates look...
What's that? It's a coffee from the bar at the docks. <laughs> you call that pretentious place a bar? There used to be a bar until those snot-nosed teenagers moved in and ruined everything. I guess I'll keep the coffee then. Ah, I'll take it. Anything is better than that instant crap. Well, you're very welcome. I'll take care of the instant crap. Okay, instant coffee and baking powder. Now I just need to add vitamin C and I'll have me some high-grade caffeinol. Instant coffee, baking powder, vitamin C. I've made myself some caffeinol. I feel like an ingenious chemist slash chef. I'm the one who knocks. <laughs> it's a patch kit for repairing punctured tires. Okay. Haha, <laughs> now it feels like a serial killer's bathroom. Okay, so the film goes on the reel. Here goes. Okie dokie, cheap filling station coffee. Do your thing. It's fixer time. All righty then. So, guess I'm done then. Well, these negatives have come out great-ish. Well, I better show hello well. I developed the pictures. You did? Amazing. Hey, apart from being all negative, I gotta say these came out pretty good. Yeah, they're good. But on their own, they're not good enough to put anyone in bracelets. What's that crate? I think that's the crate the virus canisters came from. Can you make out the RHC guy there? That's how they spread the virus, with those leaf blower things. Ranger Jervis was lucky to get this close to them without getting hurt. You know she knocked me unconscious and tied me up, right? There's some kind of code printed on the crate. Inverted Greystone Woods is just as spooky as normal Greystone. I don't think this is going to help Hellowell's investigation. Well, it looks like Jervis took a picture in the L-Town junkyard. Something tells me Ranger Jervis doesn't take a lot of selfies. Can you make out the R- Ranger Jervis- You know- do they help us nail RHC? Well, they're not federal indictment good, but they are good. Oh, did you see this? One of the virus crates is stamped Port Nicola Harbor. Port Nicola Harbor. Hmm. So the crates carrying the virus came through the harbor? Looks like they did. You've turned up a good lead. Time for a little legwork? Why is it always my legs doing the work? Talk to you later. See ya, Harper. Thank you.
Hey, you. Who? Me? Yeah, you. Come here. What are you doing there? I'm finding my inner self. What, here? In public? I sense you are in a state of imbalance. You are in pain, no? No, not really. You try to act tough, but you are afraid of what is to come. Meditation will help you recover your inner equilibrium. Come here. Listen to the wisdom of Master Deepak Shakur. Take this. Sit down. <laughs> okay, if it gets you off my back. Close your eyes and listen to my voice. Focus on your breathing. Okay, I'm focusing on my breathing. Hey, this is pretty easy. Relax the parts of your body. One by one. Toes, feet, legs, arms. Clear your mind of thoughts. Um. Repeat your mantra. Mm, disco sucks, disco sucks, disco sucks. Mm. Feel the world slipping away from you. Away. Feel the pressure lifting from you. Ah. Uh. Find peace. Home. Feel love. Mom. Thank you so much, Rupert. Mom? He's had a violent allergic reaction, but it's under control now. P Professor? I've given him something to help him sleep, and I want you to get some rest too. Thank God you found him in time. Of course. You get some rest. I'll stay with him. I'll call RHC and tell them I'm not coming into work tomorrow. RHC? Oh, Rupert, I can't thank you enough. Wait, Mom? Mom! McBride worked for RHC. Whoa, 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 what was that? Is that a memory? Uh, a dream? Hey, all my stuff's gone. Help, I, I've been robbed. Oh, God damn it. Hey, I recognize her. She's the girl from the photo I found in that diary. Amber Smith. Huh. Hey, Professor. Harper, how are you feeling? I'm okay. Good, good. Glad you're back with us. Was I really infected with Yelltown fever? I'm still waiting for your blood work back. But as I said, currently you have no symptoms. But the man in black said it was the fever. It's possible your immune system fought it off. Or some local factor stopped you becoming infected. Very interesting either way. But I thought Yelltown fever killed everybody. So far it has. If you really survived the fever, who knows what that might mean. Professor, what happened back in Yelltown? Some fanatic must be pulling the strings at RHC. That's the only explanation. But why would anyone want to kill so many people? <sighs> That's the question you have to keep asking, son. RHC was supposed to be helping. I know, I know. And it's a safe bet that they're not seriously working on a vaccine. That makes my research all the more important. If you really did survive the fever, that might be the clue we need. I'm afraid, Professor. I know, Harper. 
Don't be. People don't know it yet, but they're relying on us to help them. You proved your mettle that day in Yelltown. You won't let them down. Huh. Is it true you used to work for RHC? Well, yes. You don't remember? No. I suppose you were too young. I worked for RHC while I was finishing my doctorate, but I've had nothing to do with them since. Must be 25 years now. Why did you leave RHC? Harper, you know how these things happen. People move on or get the boot all the time. I had enough work at the university anyway. Do you still have any friends in RHC? I've had no contact with RHC for 25 years. Not until the attack in Yelltown. It's truly hard to believe. Do you know Patrick Rancho? Not really. He appeared around the time of the merger. I left not long after he became CEO. Any idea what Rancho could be up to? I've dedicated my life to fighting disease, Harper. Remember that. Do you think I like seeing medical science perverted like this? No, I... By people I used to work for. That's not what I meant, Professor. I'm sorry. Yeah. Are you getting along with LOL? We were both worried sick while you were away. Jane's a fine girl, but she does ask a lot of questions. Really? Uh, not to me. Oh, well, then she probably has the hearts for me. Professor, talk later. Goodbye. Hey, hello, L. Hey, Harp. So the crates carrying the virus came through the harbor? Looks like they did. You've turned up a good lead. Time for a little legwork? Why is it always my legs doing the work? I just got robbed. What? By who? Some hippie con artist. You're in the big city now, Harper. You have to be more careful. Professor McBride used to work for RHC. Yeah, you didn't know that? I thought you and McBride were friends. You did know that? I'm a journalist. I do my research. Which reminds me, I found this article I thought looked useful. I can't believe you didn't tell me McBride worked for RHC. Well, he worked for one of the companies that formed RHC before the merger. It's not so strange, Harper. He's a research scientist. They're a major health corp. Yeah, but still, you know... Right? You make an excellent point. What's so special about this article? It's from not long before the merger in 1992. Look at the picture. That's Rancho Sr. standing on the site of what was going to be the shiny new RHC headquarters here in Nicola. Except Rancho Sr. died. Junior took over, and the HQ never got built. So? Rancho Sr. clearly owned this property, but there's no real estate matching this description in RHC's public records. I figure RHC must hide their secrets somewhere. Why not in an HQ that never got built? You think RHC have a secret HQ here in Port Nicola? Nutty, right? But the more I find out about this story, the more I have to recalibrate my Kradar. So... How do we find this place? That's where things get sticky. Rancho Sr. and the architect in the picture are both dead, and there's no record of who took the photo. So, I bet the bullet and spent hours searching for Blue Warehouse Port Nicola. You know that Blue Warehouse is an adult video store, right? I do now. But look what I turned up. Huh. That does look like the same place. Can you work out where the site is, based on these pictures? Actually, I was hoping you could. I know it's not much to go on, but I have writing to do, and I'm basically warehouse blind at this point. Um, okay. I'll do my best. So you want me to track down this warehouse? If you can, RHC are hiding something. And I'll bet it's there. Enough about this. About the RHC HQ. So you want me to track down this warehouse? If you can, RHC are hiding something. And I'll bet it's there. Enough about this. Talk to you later. See ya, Harper.
Oh, hello, sir. Wuthering Heights, have you read it? Um, of course I have. Well, what did you think? Too much Wuthering, in my humble opinion. Really? Far too much. Wither, wither, wither. I was like, stop the Wuthering already. Huh. <laughs> uh, my name's Trisha, by the way. Harper, pleased to meet you. I hear you give away free magnifiers for reading. Yeah, we do. To seniors. Cool, cool. Can I have one? That depends. Are you a senior citizen? I was hoping you'd give me one for free just to be nice. No way. If you want one, they're three bucks. Well, I'm really seeing another side of you. Shut up and fork over the dough. What's with all the books? This is Port Nicola Public Library. Do you have a license for them all? Do I need a license? Do you? Honey, I ought to take these books down to the station right now. No, please. Okay, okay. But at least get them neutered, or, you know, you'll be overrun with pamphlets in no time. <laughs> Are you from Port Nicola? I moved here for college. I'm from Maplewood originally. Port Nicola's okay, but I miss home, you know? Yep. I'm from, uh, Yelltown. Yelltown? Oh, sorry. Do you have family back there? No family. Some friends. That's horrible. Lucky you're here, I guess. I guess. What do you study? I'm majoring in English Lit. What about you? Me? Oh, whoa. No, uh, I'm not a student. I mean, I was for like a week, years ago. So are you, like, really old then? Yeah, extremely, extremely old. I'm gonna go take a nap in the large print section. What's this chunky computer? The Interactive Mercantile Directory. The IMD is part of the library's local history project. What's it for? It lets you search all the businesses and institutions registered in PN over the last 30 years. It was developed at PNU by some of my friends. But to be honest, it's pretty much a yawn fest. Can I use the IMD? Sure. I just switched it off to save energy. The button's on the back. Thanks. What do you think of RHC? RHC? I think they're doing a good job. I mean, they're, like, stopping this horrible virus from reaching the city, right? Well, what if I told you RHC were actually spreading the virus? I would direct you to the self-help section. I gotta run. Oh. Didn't you want to borrow a book or something? Um, maybe later. Cool. See you later. Sue, this is the Interactive Mercantile Directory. Let's take a look. Looks like I printed something. How futuristic and useful. I think I might have an address for that secret RHC warehouse. All right. 
right. I knew you were smarter than you make out. Well, actually, it's an address for a nearby building. Here. Okay, let's check it out. Okay, I fed the address into Orwell.com's friendly street surveillance app. Hmm. Oh, sorry, Harper. There's no sign of our warehouse there. Damn. Sorry. I'll keep trying. Printed another address. I'll get rid of the old one. I found another address that might lead us to that RHC warehouse. Okay, let's check it out. Okay, that's the warehouse district. Yes! Look, it's still there. You did it, Harper. Do you want to get down there and, um, journalize? I think I can find the time. Well, it doesn't look like much. You did good finding it. Thanks. I'll try to get us in. And I'll try not to notice you committing criminal trespass and burglary. Cool. What's this? Hmm. Unsuccessful delivery? It'd be too much to hope they left it open. Oh, there's no way we're getting in there. If I had my multi-tool back, that door would open up like kapow! Find someone who looks at you the way Harper looks at his multi-tool. Uh, hello? Uh, kapow, I guess. How do the rest of us survive without carrying a multi-tool all the dang time? Let's just go inside, okay? Wow, I can't believe that crappy warehouse exterior concealed... A crappy warehouse interior? I thought RHC was some massive international corporation. How can this be the head office? Hmm. It's a... That's why they put me on a telephone merry-go-round. RHC doesn't have a head office. But how can that be? Who planned the attacks? Where's that rancho guy? I don't know who's pulling the strings, but something tells me it's not Patrick Rancho. Let's look around. Anything in there? Yes, I found a pen. It's from the Port Nicholas Sailboat Marina. The marina. Hmm. Hello? Me too. The RHCHQ is an empty warehouse. The real power, the people behind Yelltown, they're somewhere else. And we're going to find them, pricks. Hey. That kind of looks like that code on Jervis's photo. Please present your Port Nicola dockyard ID for access. Hmm. Hey, you! Do I know you? You robbed me! What? You're crazy. Get out of here. That meditation crap was a scam. Don't talk that way about Master Deepak Shakur. I want my stuff back now. Beat it, man. Then I guess I better call the police. Come on, man. I did you a favor. Possessions sap our spirit energies. Give me back my multi-tool. Jeez, all right, all right. Your crap is in that cardboard box. About time. Your shockers are messed the hell up, by the way.
I wonder what kind of a... Hello? Ugh. Oh man, what a night. It it can't be. Hopper? Leroy. How did you get out of Yelltown? Well, after you left, I kinda had a little rest. Remember that old tin bathtub? I told you to stop sleeping under that stinky old bathtub. That bathtub saved my damn life. I wake up next day and there's dead bodies. Yellow suits. How did you get to Fort Nicola? I walked damn near all the way, rolling and tumbling through hedges and ditches. Some hick farmer took a shot at me in Greystone. Can you believe that? I actually do believe that. I'm real glad you made it, Leroy. Jeez, but I saw things along the way. What did you see? Hear about Arbutus Hill? They got it same as Yelltown. I was there, same yellow suits. They're the ones who done it, Hob, the yellow suits. I know, Leroy. I saw them, too. You can't tell no one about it, or they'll get you as well. Do like me. Keep quiet and just ship out of town. Are you working in Fort Nicola? I signed on with Cargo East. I'll be on a container ship come tomorrow. But I just... miss her so much. What? Who? My junkyard hop! I'll never see her again! Don't say that. I'm sure you'll see your beloved junkyard when this is all over can you get through that locked gate into the harbor area yeah i got a harbor pass that beeps me right in you wouldn't lend it to me would you gee harper i only just got this job and you want to get me fired i can't lose this job not after losing my my junkyard hop if i could just see her one more time ah, ah, ah. i gotta go hey hop I'm sure glad you made it out of Yelltown. Hey, Leroy, guess what? I've got a photo of your junkyard. Well, it's a negative, actually. But I bet you could get it blown up to the size of a billboard if you wanted. What? Hop, that's... that's... Do you think I can have it? Sure. You know I'm always ready to help a buddy. But will you lend me that harbor pass of yours for a moment in exchange? For a photo of my junkyard? I'd do anything, Hop. But bring it back, will ya? I need it tomorrow. Uh, of course. Here's your harbor pass back, Leroy. Thanks, Hop. Thanks again. What do we got here? Hello. Hello, son. You're one of the new hands? Uh, yep. That's right. Well, my shift's nearly over. The next guy will have to show you the ropes. What are you doing there? It's the new regulations. All the consignments have to be sterilized when they pass through the harbor. The virus, right? Mm-hmm. So that machine does the sterilizing. That's what they tell me. I'm just here to make sure the gremlins and the machines don't miss any consignments out. It's highly stimulating work. You ever find anything weird in the deliveries? Like body parts or giant spiders? Son, working here may not be the thrill ride you are expecting. 
I don't have time to talk you through everything. But yeah, we get giant spiders. Cool. What do the codes on the packages mean? They're the consignment IDs. The first three digits refer to the courier company. The next four refer to the port of origin and the destination. And finally, there's the unique five-digit reference code. Remind me, how do the consignment IDs work? <sighs> this should have all been explained in your orientation. The first three digits refer to the courier company. The next four refer to the port of origin and the destination. And finally, there's the unique five-digit reference code. Remind me. <sighs> the first three digits... The next and final... I just got this unsuccessful delivery note. Apparently, the delivery got returned here to the docks. Can your drone call up any package? Whoa, whoa, whoa. I see what's happening here. You think you could start taking liberties first day on the job? Hey, sorry, man. I just want to learn more about how the machine works. Oh, yeah? Can you tell me more about how the drone works? Uh, well, yes, it can bring up a specific package, as long as you have the ID. So how might one select a specific package, in theory? Jesus Christ, son, do you think you're being subtle? Okay, if you stop interrupting me, you can call up your damn package. Just punch the ID into the panel and hit the green button. And do not tell any of your rust about buddies I cut you a brick. How about them port seagulls? Son, I'm not a rude man, but I started this shift at 3 a.m. As far as I'm concerned, you can take the seagulls and cram them. Raccoons, man, huh? I better go. Hmm. Hmm, I can't log in. How do I get into this computer system? Maybe I can use Hallowell's flash drive to access the system. I wonder if there are still any RHC consignments in the harbor.
so all these deliveries came in by IX. IXL must be the shipping company used by RHC. Uh, what did I do? You called in a package that's no longer in the harbor, son. Wow. A lot of these IXL shipments come from that K.A. place. I wonder where K.A. is. Was that another out-of-date code? Uh, what did I do? You called in a package that... That must have been the right one. What's that, a letter? Huh. So Berard sent this to someone called Eva, but it couldn't be delivered and it came back. But by that time, Berard had closed up shop and was fixing to leave town. So it just bounced around between them and ended up here in the harbor. Let's see what's inside. A letter to someone called Eva. There's a check for holy moly. That's a lot of simoleons. Hey. What's this? What's Aquila? Excuse me. What? How's the con artist business? It's been better. How's the being a whiny baby business? Hey! Hey, what's Aquila? What's what? This Aquila pamphlet. What's it about? I don't know what you're talking about. When I got my stuff out of that box you stashed it in, I found this pamphlet. I don't know, dude. These Aquila people are promising enlightenment. Sounds like your brand of mumbo-jumbo, doesn't it? Listen, dude, I really don't know crap about your pamphlet. Okay, I used to get paid to push those things on impressionable types, but that's it. If you want to know more, read the damn pamphlet. You used to give out Aquila pamphlets? Yes, sometimes. But I never went to any of their meetings. It was just a quick buck in between other scams. Oh, yeah? Would I lie to you? Who did you work for at Aquila? Just some guy called Ricardo. He was a recruiter, but way, way deeper into it than me. Where can I find this Ricardo? The hell if I know. He hasn't been around for weeks. Bum still owes me $20. Your Deepak Shakur hokum actually worked. It unlocked some kind of lost memory. You know, I thought it was total BS. See? I knew it would help. Come on. You just wanted to rob me. Small price to pay for spiritual equilibrium. Well, I better stay away from you. Yep. Do you know this girl by any chance? Yeah, that's Amber Smith. She used to hang out here before she took off. Took off? Just up and left in the middle of a semester. At least that's what the cops said. Her roommate, Mika, never believed it, though. Hence the posters. What happened to Amber exactly? No one really knows. She just cleared out. It happens sometimes with freshmen. But I didn't take her for the type to lose her head over a guy. A guy? She started seeing this guy, Ricardo. Who's Ricardo? He's not a student, but he always hung out on campus. Used to be Trisha Parker's boyfriend. You know Trisha? She works at the library? Trish, of course. 
Did Ricardo have something to do with Amber disappearing? That's what her roommate thinks, but the cops didn't pursue it. He had some rock solid alibi. And apparently people drop off the map all the time in a big city. What do you think? I don't know. Amber didn't seem like the type to disappear. So Ricardo is cheating on Trisha? No, no, they were broken up before Amber. Not too long before Amber, but that's Ricardo. Okay, talk to you later. Hey, hello, Elle. Hey, Harp. So the crates carrying the virus came through the harbor? Looks like they did. You've turned up a good lead. Time for a little legwork? Why is it always my legs doing the work? I found this letter addressed to a Dominic Berard. Who's Dominic Berard? I don't know, but he's connected to all this somehow. It's a letter from this Burrard guy to his daughter. Return to sender. So this Eva moved and left no address. Oh, we should be on the lookout for any more information about this Burrard. I'm on it. Ever heard about an organization called Aquila? I have a hunch they're mixed up in this. Let's see. Let's see. Aquila is a constellation. At least two metal bands. And yeah, some kind of spiritual group in Port Nicola. Aquila. The path to enlightenment. Hmm. It might just be coincidence, but when Patty Silverdale first contacted me, she used the alias Eagle. And? Aquila is Latin for eagle. I knew that. Just testing. But, you know, Cardero was raving about eagles, too. In the cave. Maybe your hunch is worth following. Talk to you later. See ya, Harper. Hey, Trish. Oh, hey, Harper. Ever heard of Aquila? Oh, uh, yeah. I know it. What? How? It was my ex-boyfriend's favorite star constellation. He was such a romantic. But let's not talk about him, okay? Tell me about Ricardo. Ricardo? How do you know Ricardo? I just heard you two were an item, and I had a few questions about the guy. How would you like it if I asked you a ton of questions about your ex? I don't want to make it weird. I just need to know more about him. It's really important. <sighs> what is it? How long were you and Ricardo together? Pretty long. Like, three months? Three months is long? It was a pretty intense three months, you know. When did you last see Ricardo? Dude, do we have to do this? Please, Trish. Now, I can't explain, but it is important. <sighs> All right. We last saw each other on the night we broke up. It was on that beach he liked so much. He always took me there to show me his favorite star constellation. You know, Aquila. <sighs> it was pretty romantic, I guess. Laquil? Huh. So, why did you break up that night? We just wanted different things. Men are pigs. Right, sister? No, it, it wasn't that. Ricardo was a very spiritual guy, always talking about his journey to enlightenment. That night, he asked me to join him on an actual journey. He wanted us to go live on some island. I really liked him, but I wasn't going to quit college for a guy, even if he was super hot. Super hot jerk. Where's the beach where you broke up with Ricardo? It's called Glenora Beach. Glenora. Thanks. Did you hear about Ricardo and a girl called Amber? Yeah, I heard they had a thing before she ran off. Do you know where she went? What happened between them? Dude, you are way more interested in my ex than I am. That's enough about Ricardo for now. I agree. Let's talk about something else. I gotta run. Bye!
Hey, hello, Elle. Hey, Harp. So the crate... Looks like you've turned up... Why is it all... Talk to you later. See ya, Harper. Hey, Trish. Oh, hey, Harper. I gotta run. Bye. Wouldn't want to be up a creek without these babies. Can I give this lock the once over? Make sure it's still working. Well, would you look at that? Darn thing rusted away. Ah, oh, a dinghy? I wanted a jet ski. Jeez, this thing smells worse than that rubber suit. Ugh, rubber. Do your thing, bicycle pump. God damn it. Must be a puncture in the dinghy. Huh. There's a puncture, all right. Let's get this fixed up. Done. I just hope it's seaworthy. Okie dokie. Let's give this a try. Nice work, bicycle pump. Board. Just in case any of those cult dudes are still hanging around. Time for a more subtle approach. used to eat a lot of Cheetos. You might have suffered bereavement, found yourself lacking in direction or drive. Um, actually, yeah. Where you came here from is not important. A new task lies ahead of you. As applicants, you must discover how your individual talents complement each other and benefit the group. This is the first step on your journey to self-actualization. That journey began when you entered this room. Baloney. You again. I wonder if this is the constellation Trisha told me about. Lying within the firmament. Below of man and beast. A star, a ziggurat.
This thing is cut. Below a man. A star, a cigarette. Was born for life. What a load of... Whoa! Congratulations, applicants. You have overcome the first of many challenges. Each of you should now take a membership back and complete the enclosed personality. Huh. Looks like they cleared out back here, too. They must have left something that can help me. Junk. Bupkis. Wait, there's something down the back of the shelf. Hmm. Slides. This should help me read those slides. Hey, this thing's working. Whoa, that recruiter from the 90s, Berard. He's the spitting image of the Rancho guy who runs our HC. Berard, Rancho, huh. Ahoy! Sorry, no time to talk. Don't I know you from somewhere? I rather think not. You look like Dr. Rancho, you know? You have me confused, sir. I've never heard of this Dr. Ranzo. You're Dominique Berard. Excuse me? You're Dominique Berard and you're a crook. One minute I'm a doctor, the next I'm a crook. You, sir, are certifiable. I'm right. Aren't I? I don't know what you're talking about. 
you work for a group called Aquila. Or worked, I don't know for sure. I have no idea what you're babbling about. Leave me alone. What are you up to? Who's behind all of this? You're really starting to tick me off. Then why don't you tell me the truth? I have a better idea. I have a Glock under my shirt and 30 years range experience under my belt. Why don't you clear out before I leave the dock workers a mess to clear up? Jesus, that guy's cold. I need to get him talking. But how can I even start to sweet talk a con artist like Berard? Maybe he was... I need to lead him into... How can I... Excuse me. What? Can you teach me how to con someone? You? Pull off a con? I'd like to see that. Well, teach me then. I really need to get information out of a guy. <laughs> okay. What you need is leverage, a good come on, and a neat get out. What kind of leverage? Saucy pictures, sexy emails, a million bucks in Nigerian Naira, or just something you know that the mark doesn't know you know. It's all about information. Make the mark think you got something he wants. What if I don't have any leverage? Keep digging till you find some. What kind of leverage? Saucy pictures, sexy emails, a million bucks in Nigerian Naira, or just something you know that the mark doesn't know you know. It's all about information. Make the mark think you got something he wants. What if I don't have any leverage? Keep digging till you find some. What kind of leverage? Saucy pictures, sexy emails, a million bucks in Nigerian Naira, or just something you know that the mark doesn't know you know. It's all about information. Make the mark think you got something he wants. What if I don't have any leverage? Keep digging till you find some. What kind of leverage? Saucy pictures, sexy emails, a million bucks in Nigerian Naira, or just something you know that the mark doesn't know you know. It's all about information. Make the mark think you got something he wants. What if I don't have any leverage? Keep digging till you find some. What kind of leverage? Saucy pictures, sexy emails, or just... It's all about... What if I don't... Keep digging... What do you mean by come on? That's where you play on the mark's emotions. Fear, greed, vanity. I can make the pictures go away. I can make you a rich man. I got the thing you want. So, what's a get out? That's the easy part. Get what you need from the mark before they find out they've been conned. Make them think they're getting everything they want, then get out. Leverage, come on, get out. You got it? Can't be so hard if you can do it. You might not find it as easy as you think. People like putting their faith in a pretty face. No one wants to put their faith in Marty McFly's creepy older brother. You better get yourself an accomplice. Well, I better stay away from you. Yep. Hey, hello, El. Hey, Harp. I just found the strangest place on a little island. What kind of place? I'm not sure exactly. But it has something to do with Aquila. Could Aquila be the cult from Greystone Woods? It looks like they recruited the student whose diary I found in the radio station. That makes a kind of twisted sense. Brainwashing people under the guise of enlightenment. And controlling RHC, and who knows what else? The government? 
Coast Guard? How can you hope to fight something like this? I should have just stayed in bed. If you'd stayed in bed in Yelltown, you'd be dead in bed in Yelltown. I found a photo on their computer that is the spitting image of a young Patrick Rancho, Dominique Burrard. No way! The guy who wrote that letter? Yep. So Patrick Rancho is Dominic Berard, and Dominic Berard has an estranged daughter who moved and left no forwarding address. I guess she decided she didn't want Daddy's dirty money anymore. I like her style. So, what now? Now, hold our nerve and keep following our leads. You did good. Could Aquila be the... It looks like they... That makes it kind of... And controlling... How can you... I should have just... If you'd stayed in bed... I found a... Dominic... No... Yep... So... And Dominic... I guess she decided... I like her stuff... So... Now... Enough about... I found Patrick Rancho down at the marina... Rancho? As in RHCCEO? Well done, Harper. This is huge. I'm pretty sure it's him, but he's a real smooth operator. He will not talk. Seems like he's fixing to leave town. What should we do? Keep calm, Harper. We need a plan. Any ideas? I know how we get Rancho to talk. Really? How? We need leverage, a come on and a get out. Where is all this coming from? That's how cons work. Everybody knows that. Have you been talking to that hippie con artist? <sighs> yeah, but she was very helpful. The important thing is, I need an accomplice. Can we go see Rancho together? All right, yes. But do we have leverage of some kind? We have his letter. Good thinking. That could actually work as leverage. Let's go see him. All right. Okay, how are we doing this? We should offer Berard the letter. But why would he want it? What does it prove? I guess it proves his daughter never got his message. Do you think we should tell him Eva's moved away? What if we pretend we know where his daughter's gone? Yes. Then if he doesn't talk, he'll never find her again. That's perfect. Okay, let's do it. Hey, Berard! I got a message here from Eva. Eva? Wait a minute. You again. Leave me alone and take this girl with you. Sure, we'll leave. If you don't want to find out where Eva's gone. Eva's gone? <laughs> softly, softly. She sent your last care package back. She doesn't want your money. She needs time alone. Who are you to tell me what she needs? I know what's best for my... Wait a minute. How do I know any of this is true? Stay calm. I guess you just have to trust me. You'll wish you did when you find Eva's place empty. Deal's off. We keep her letter. Wait! Whatever you have, give it to me. First, you tell us what we need to know. Ask him why he did it. Why did you do all this? I didn't do anything. I was just an actor playing a role. If you want to find your daughter, you have to be straight with me. They paid me to keep up the RHC facade. That was it. A simple transaction. They didn't tell me their plans, and I didn't ask. He must have known something. Do you expect me to believe you knew nothing about the virus? I don't care what you believe, dear. I just said my lines and remembered my cues. All I want to do now is get my daughter out of harm's way. Give me that letter. Earn it. Ask who's behind Aquila. Who's behind all this? I don't know. I'm the dancing monkey, not the organ grinder. Harper, toss Eva's letter in the harbor. Devlin. My contact was a man named Devlin. 
He's a flunky, but pretty close to the top table. You know the type. Wears a black suit. Looks like he could kill you seven ways before breakfast. Sounds familiar. Ask about this Devlin. I'm a journalist, Harper. I know how to do an interview. So, does this Devlin have a first name? I'm not sure that bastard even casts a shadow. Is that the best you can do? Harper? I'm telling you everything I know. Devlin is good at covering his tracks. Better than me, apparently. Ask him about joining Aquila. How did you join Aquila? Well... I was just a recruiter, you see, bringing them new acolytes. Please understand, I was never a true believer, just a very good salesman. In the 90s, they took over this medical company, and I became Dr. Rancho. The money was incredible, but it meant I had to leave my daughter behind. You mean you chose to? Why did Aquila want him? You weren't a believer. Why did Aquila need a sleaze like you? Well, in 92, they had this problem. There was a snafu, and an outbreak killed a few people in a village near Aquila HQ. A few? How many? Nearly all of them. Aquila needed a smooth talker to step in front of the cameras and make the story go away. Where's Aquila HQ? So, where's the Aquila HQ? Search me. Probably near the mining town I mentioned. Coho? Cojones or something? Cojona? What Dingus said. You're a monster, Berard. Harper! Berard, you suck. That won't work. Hey, dumb shirt. Your shirt is dumb. <sighs> okay, okay, I've heard enough. Then give me the letter. Let's go. Wait! Where's the letter from Eva? This is just money. I thought the money was what you cared about. Where's Eva? Tell me! Where's Eva? Tell me, please! Hello? Jane, it's Rupert. Are you with Harper? I'm here, Professor. Jane, you both have to drop everything and come to my lab. What is it, Rupert? It's extraordinary. I don't want to be premature, but I think I've found our vaccine. No way! That's great! We'll be right over. <laughs> we did it! Hello, hello. Devlin. I just overheard something very interesting. Something about a vaccine. Uh, no, no. Slow down, Rupert. You're gonna have plenty of time to tell me everything. Professor? Jesus Christ.
E.T. Talk Radio. You're listening to Backwoods Radio. This is Bobby. Uh, Duke didn't show up for work today. We're we're, we're trying to get in touch with him, but uh, James, if you're if you're listening, buddy. Ah, oh, jeez, I just I can't do this. <laughs> I'm sorry. I have to get out of here. Stay safe, guys. Damn, it's cold. Coming here was the dumbest idea ever. That's what I tried to tell you. I said we have no way of finding Aquila HQ. I said we don't know for sure if that's even where they took the professor. I said even if we get lucky and find McBride, we have no way of rescuing him. You should have said something. Oh! What should we do now? We should try to find out more about Kahona. Anything that might lead us to the bad guy's HQ. Why do you think they took Professor McBride? Well, he told us he discovered the vaccine. But if they wanted to stop him making it, they could have just killed him. They kidnapped him, so that must mean they want something from him. And that means he's alive. I hope so. Do you really think the professor is okay? I hope so. I just don't know if we can help him. We'll think of something. We did okay so far, didn't we? Since when did you become Joe the Optimist? <sighs> Thing is, I really thought I was going to die back in Greystone. I've spent my whole life chickening out of stuff. But after I survived, things don't seem so impossible. That's good, Harper. But I kinda wish your journey of self-discovery didn't mean me freezing my cheeks off in Snowville. Okay, let's keep moving. That was the longest, bumpiest bus ride I ever had. Oh, really? Were you sitting next to a cheese puff eating man spreader with B.O.? What are you talking about? I was sitting next to you. Anywho, on the plus side, I just found us a map. Bully for you. Is the secret Aquila headquarters marked on there? No. Hello. Evening. You folks lost or something? Why would we be lost? Most who come here are either lost or about to get lost. And you and your fella sure don't look like you're here for the ice fishing. Oh, he's not... I'm not... a... feller. Good to meet you. My name's Harper. This is Hellowell. Jane. Pleased to meet you, Harper and Hellowell Jane. Name's Burl. Do you live here in Kahona? Oh, no. I live across the lake in Rankin. I'm just here for the perch. Good, quiet place for fishing. Is there anyone living here? Not to my knowledge. They closed the mine after the outbreak in 92. Never reopened it. My wife is more superstitious than me. Doesn't like me getting this close. Kahona's a real ghost town. What do you know about the outbreak? They looked into it and discovered it all started with a shipment of contaminated corned beef. I heard the importer lost his license. Hardly seems like justice with damn near a whole town dead. Are they biting today? They're down there. Just have to be patient. What are you using for bait? Most of the younger folks use those fancy soft baits that wriggle like crazy. I prefer live bait. Seems fairer somehow. Pretty depressing radio, huh? Yep. Probably for the best that the battery died. Especially with that interference scaring the fish away.
Does the outbreak on the radio sound familiar at all? What do you mean? Does it remind you of what happened here? In Kahona? No. It couldn't be the same thing again. No. What interference? Didn't you hear it? Every now and then you get some noise interfering with your station. People say it's the weather, but it's darn annoying, I'll tell you that for nothing. Any idea where the interfering signal might be coming from? Coming from? I never really thought about it. You think it might be a military broadcast or something like that? Something like that. Could I borrow your radio? Borrow it? What for? I'm kind of interested in tracking down that signal you mentioned. I told you the battery died, right? Sounds like a fool's errand to me. <laughs> Do I look like a fool, sir? <laughs> okay, you can borrow the radio if you can find my water hook. You need a water hook? Yep. I must have lost mine somewhere up in the old village. And you want me to look for it? It's like a fishing hook, right? Exactly. Smart young fella like you shouldn't have any trouble. Okay, deal. I'll keep my eyes open. Boy, it's cold up here. You tenderfoot should have dressed warmer. Tenderfoot? Who are you calling a tenderfoot? The fella wearing sneakers on the ice. Talk later. Uh, hey, mind if I borrow this fishing line? Mm-hmm. Was that, yes, you mind, or yes, I can borrow it? Mm-hmm. You know what, sir? There's surly, and then there's confusing. Ugh. Take it already. I got plenty. Thanks. You're the best. Mm-hmm. This must be some kind of aerial tramway for carrying the ore down from the mine. Hmm. I guess this is as good a place as any to start looking for a water hook. Man, it's dark in here. This must be the power switch. Oops. I think that bulb tripped the circuit breaker. <sighs> hey, a kettle. The jacket is frozen, but the hood might come in useful. Frosted light bulbs. You know, the guy who invented these was actually getting pranked. Back in, like, the 50s, nobody thought you could frost bulbs without the glass breaking. So as a practical joke, okay, they, they told new engineers to try and invent them. And then one guy actually did. A practical joke? Yeah, like when you send out the new kid for a long stand or striped paint. Or a water hook. A water... God damn it! He tricked me. Hello. Hello again. There's no such thing as a water hook, is there? Ha <laughs> ha. It was just a little prank. First time a kid comes out fishing, we 
always send them looking for a water hook. Hilarious. Totally worth the frostbite. Don't get sore now. I was only pulling your leg. Here, take the radio by way of apology. If you can find a place to charge it, you can use it as long as you need. Okay, let's see. This frosted light bulb should fit. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's get some juice in the old radio. I wonder who's paying the electricity bill. My guess? Someone with a secret radio tower. I wonder if this stove still works. Yes, it does! This'll heat the kettle up. Ooh, hot. Break time's over, Gears. Time to get back to work. Okay, the gears are clear. So, where is the deafening sound of heavy machinery? Let's see. Yes, it's working again. Darn it, I think, yep, radio battery died again already. It just doesn't seem to hold a charge when it's cold. Okay, the aerial tramway is working. I guess I can go up to the mine now. Great, I'll stay here and write a bestseller about your icy death. Hello, well. I mean, I'll operate the tramway from down here. Make sure you get back safe. Huh, you darn tootin' you will. Hello? Harper? You okay up there? It's cold as crap, but... Yeah. Ready? 
Yes. Do the Better charge the radio again. Man, this cold weather just kills the battery stone dead. Maybe the radio will hold a charge longer if it's better insulated. Ah, it looks so cozy wrapped in the hood. So warm. I am super jealous of this radio right now. I'm going back up to the mine. Safe trip. Hey, this looks dangerous. I better remove it before someone hurts themselves. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ah, jeez. That was close. Say hello to my little friend, the Principal of Leverage. The boards bridge the gap, but they're very unsteady. I need to fix them in place. This should hold the boards in place. For now, at least. Triangulation time. Triangulation time. Triangulation time. Triangulation time. The source of the signal must be somewhere in that area. I better get Hello out. Jesus Christ, look at that place. It has turrets. Turrets?
We need to find a way in. Turrets, Harper. Like the kind armed guards shoot you from? We need the- We can't go back now. Maybe we can sneak in through an air duct or something. Air ducts? You think you're John McClane now? I think I'm trying to think of a way to help us. Maybe you should too. Well, maybe thinking is not your forte. You're going to get us both killed, jackass. Well, maybe you're... Hey, hello well. I found something. The HQ must extend underground. Who's the idiot? Ah! Harper! Ugh. What the? Oh my. H hello well? Help! Huh, oh, interesting. Hello? Huh? A good, strong luck. Hey, I think I have an idea. Well, what more pipe? Who's there? Hello? <laughs> what you say in there? <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm not getting it. Harper Bendrill, you are becoming something of a badass. <laughs> I better get moving. but the efficacy of prototype treatments is way below estimates. We started the experiment too early. We had no choice. The Greystone cell betrayed the cause. But even the strongest, healthiest test subjects have died. If they died, they were not strong. But if we can't find that Pendrel kid, it could be unstoppable. It could come here and... Are you afraid? If it is the votary's will, I would welcome it. Of course. Uh, yes, of course. No, no, no. Wrong again. Sir, gar, sir, zig, er, at. I am so screwed. Gert, you're with me. I'm Tony. Where's Gert? I think she's with Rudiger. I'm Rudiger. God damn it.
You okay? Greetings, brother. Sorry. I I'm new. Just prepping for induction. Have we met? I just got here pretty recently, too. I'm... Gary. You seem to be struggling with something? No. Well, it's the creed. The creed? It's so stupid, because I know I know it. We all do. I'm just... I mustn't fail the votary. What's your problem with... I keep stumbling over the words. I need to have it down before I get inducted. You're afraid of the votary? No. She's like... We owe her everything. Without Aquila, I'd still be like some pathetic loser. Um, of course. Have you met the votary? Not one-on-one, -on -one, but, but her sermons are so inspiring. Like simple truths that make us strong. It changed my life. I hate the person I used to be. I'm supposed to be interrogating McBride? You don't happen to remember where we put him. Who? Never mind. I was just about to head over to the virus containment zone. You been there lately? You mean incubation? No. M my pass is level one. Only the dorm and study areas. Hopefully, I'll be able to serve the cause better after induction. Good luck, sister. How long have you been with Aquila? Since my aunt threw me out. About 18 months. Joining, it totally changed my, like, perspective. It made me realize I could be part of something special. Important. I gave all my savings to the cause, and I didn't even miss it. I don't miss anything about my old life. Are you still in contact with your aunt? Is this a test? A of course not. No, I mean, was it difficult to leave her behind? It was the best choice I ever made. I hope the virus gets her. You want me to test you on the creed? Really? W would you? Sure. Close your eyes and focus. You're different from the others. Why are you helping me? I just don't want an inferior specimen like you to fail the votary. No, brother. I, I won't fail. I promise. Close your eyes and give it a shot. I bide within the firmament a star. A, a surrogate below of man and beast. Was born for life, death, in death to play my part. In brotherhood to serve the inner peace. You stumbled over the words a little. Keep studying. Damn. Stupid. Looks like some sort of ID card. Hmm. No, no, no. What's an Aquila ID card good for? Access to the cult gym? Free brainwash pills of the food court? Man, I'm starving. It feels like I haven't eaten for weeks. Wrong again. I can't just grab it. She would know. Greetings, sister. Greetings. You want me to test you on the creek? Yeah. Close your eyes and give it a shot. I bide a, a surrogate below of man and beast. Was born for life, death, in death, in brotherhood, to serve the inner peace. You're with me on perimeter from 2300 hours. Yes, sister. But I was scheduled to scrub down rooms 3 to 6. That'll have to wait. McBride's been quartered in 4B. Huh. You know, I was looking forward to kicking the truth out of that fatso. Have faith in the votary's wisdom. McBride's a smart man. He made the smart choice. 4B, huh? Those yellow suits. This must be where they're. Professor! Finally! Thanks for coming. I've modeled the numbers from the latest field report. Would you mind popping them up to the votary? What? Uh, damn, you know, actually, I'll go myself. She's bound to have questions, and 
I could use the exercise. Sorry I troubled you. What the hell? Psst. Harper, is that you? Hallowell, how did you get in here? You know, through an air duct. What's going on with Professor McBride? Is he working for them? I always suspected he knew something he wasn't telling us from his time at RHC, but I never imagined he would... I don't believe it. He, he wouldn't. Harper, you heard him talking about this votary. He's helping them. I overheard something about the virus. What? They're nearly out of it. They, they have all the remaining stock right here in the base. Are you sure about that? That's what I heard. Good. I'm going to search the room. Stay where you are. A foolish old man? What the hell? Harper, what is it? The reason I recovered from the fever. I had it before. I got infected at McBride's house when I was a kid. He infected you? He says it was an accident. As if engineering viruses is the most normal thing in the world. Another cup of coffee, hun? A slice of homemade bubonic plague? Harper, keep your voice down! Oh, sorry. I'm just a little upset. Is everything in order? Yes. The votary sent me to fetch some documents. Very good. Hello, well. Psst. Hello, well. Oh, damn. Yes? You have clearance to be here? I'm here to recalibrate the virus containment unit. That's why I'm here. You must have made a mistake with your rota. I bet you're right. I'll go check. Whoa, I know this. This is the place Cardero built back in Greystone. Hey! Welcome to Aquila's induction program. This is the final step on your journey to self-actualization. Please sit in the chair. I don't think so. I don't know if I want to sit in that. I hope I don't regret this. Welcome to induction. Ah! Ah! Let me go! Welcome to induction. Let me out! My head's gonna explode! What is the first truth? I don't know! Let me out! What is the second truth? I told you, I don't know! Induction session extended. What is the third truth? I love Aquila. What is the fourth truth? Don't eat yellow snow. Induction session extended. What is the fifth truth? Um, Mom. What is the first truth? Um... Induction 
induction session extended. What is the second truth? I told you, I don't know! Induction session extended. What is the third truth? I love Aquila. What is the fourth truth? Don't eat yellow snow. Induction session extended. What is the fifth truth? Home. Mom. What is the first truth? Home. Induction session extended. What is the second truth? Just try to breathe, Harper. Induction session extended. What is the third truth? Breathe in. Breathe out. Induction session extended. What is the fourth truth? Toes. Feet. Legs. Arms. Induction session extended. What is the fifth truth? Home. Mom. Whoa. I just need a little time alone to think. The eagle! The eagle! The eagle! The eagle! The eagle! What? The ape climbs to the apex. Buddy, that's not helping at all. The salamander eats its brother. Cardero, focus. I, I need to get out of here. Take out and shoot the three-legged mare. Please, Cardero. The worker act carries four times its weight. Oh, jeez. What is the first truth? Weakness is death. What is the second truth? Weakness is death. What is the third truth? Aquila rising. What is the fourth truth? Obedience is strength. What is the fifth truth? Blood is cold. What is the first truth? Man is a predator. What is the second truth? Blood is cold. What is the third truth? Weakness is death. What is the fourth truth? Obedience is strength. What is the fifth truth? Aquila rising. Hello? Hello? C can I go now? Rupert was right. There's more to you than meets the eye, Mr. Pendrel. I've never known a subject so resistant to induction. Why, it's as if you had no brain to wash. His girlfriend must be here somewhere. Dispose of her. Mom. No, stop. I know you. You're that politician, Thurlow. Senator Thurlow, if you don't mind. Although, round here, folks call me Votary. You attacked Yelltown! I ran a field experiment. The aim was to test prototype treatments for VHOV. I admit there were... unforeseen incidents. Silverdale's attempt at sabotage forced us to start a little early. But it brought you here to me, so everything worked out peachy. What do you want from me? Well, it ain't your good looks. Rupert tells me you're resistant to BHOV. That makes you very special indeed. I'm going to extract a teensy sample of your bone marrow and use it to produce a vaccine. In med school, I always lost marks for bedside manner. Can you believe that? Now try to relax, because this is gonna hurt like hell. Why do you want the vaccine? There'll be time for all that after I take the sample. Or maybe not. I don't really care. Hold still. No! What a brave boy. 
Try not to bleed out now, you hear? Uh, <sighs> Harper! You found her, Rupert. Good job. Hello, well, let... <coughs> let her go. It's so nice that we're all getting to know each other at last, but I've got my vaccine and a plane to catch, so... Kill the girl. Wait! Won't you at least tell us why you've done all this? <laughs> How charmingly gauche. Pendril, now you're supposed to say, you'll never get away with this. You will never. <laughs> Not a great line, Reading. If you want to know why, Rupert can tell you. You first told me the idea when we were students. I don't think I believed you could really do it until Yelltown. The plan was to conjure up the fear of a worldwide pandemic, then cure it. Play the hero. Sylvia becomes the head of the Global Health Initiative with all the power that entails. And then... And then lather, rinse, repeat. A world without sickness is possible, and I can't let that happen. From the big grand coolie dam to the H-bomb, we have put science to work for us. Why not disease, too? What about the innocent people who die? In Yelltown? Greystone? Set dressing. You're a murderer, Thurlow. I'm a politician. That means making the hard choices. If a politician offers people hope, she'll only end up disappointing them. But if I give people something to fear, offer them safety, order, keep the good people healthy, the bad people sick, well then, folk will sell their own skins just to huddle under my wing. This is insane. You... You can't believe all that apex predator bullcrap. Of course not. But I know folk will die in their boots for a catchy slogan. So it's just about power. What in the hell do you mean just about power? I'm about to save a million lives. I'm a national hero. Who wants to touch me? <laughs> just kidding. I would never let any of you touch me. Why are you helping her, Professor? Was this your plan all along? No, I swear it. It isn't easy to betray someone you love. I'm sorry. Sorry? Is that supposed to mean... Looks like the milk of human kindness has finally turned sour. I've heard enough. You and me both. I got what I came for. Rupert, sedate the boy. And shoot that snooping gutter rat.
Professor. Professor? McBride to Devlin. Halliwell is in incubation. You bastard! Keep her there. We have Pandrel too. I'm on my way. <sighs> Why did you have to come here? To rescue you. But that was before we knew you were two-timing us for some old flame. No, it's not as simple as that. It's exactly as simple as that. You're working for them. Damn and blast. I, I should have told Harper everything. Then tell me everything. Why are you doing this? Devlin will be here soon. Have you been brainwashed like the yellow suit guys? No. I thought I was protecting you and Harper by coming here without a fight. And then I saw her again. Sylvia Thurlow. She's the votary. As in Senator Sylvia Thurlow? Ms. Global Health Initiative? What a scoop. I mean, that's insane. I know. I know. How can you work for Thurlow after what she did to Yelltown? What she's done, it can't change the way I feel about her. It's in my bones. It's like falling back into an old habit. I didn't plan this, but I'm not strong enough to fight Sylvia. If I help her find a vaccine, at least there will be a vaccine. You're pathetic. Harper needs... Cornered her, Rupert. Good work. Is the boy with Sylvia? Aye, aye. She's prepping him for surgery. Come out, come out, Miss Hallowell. Professor, help! That won't help, darling. Smart guys like Rupert always join the winning team. Professor! You're wasting your breath. Professor! Stop! Don't hurt... Sorry, Rupe. Didn't... Devlin! I don't believe we've been properly introduced. Stay back! You seem a little confused as to which of us is holding a firearm. I got something better than a gun. Why don't I believe you? I can destroy your virus with the flick of a switch. Oh yeah? How? By raising the temperature in there to boiling point. Can she do that, Rook? I, I don't know. If she's gained access to the... I mean, if she's rerouted the... It's possible. Christ. Damn, it can't depressurize yet. Damn, it can't depressurize yet. Lock him in, Professor. The panel, now. Thank God. I don't think you need to get out of here. No. Devlin said Harper was with her. Take me to them. It's too dangerous. I can't believe you called Harper a coward. I hope you know what you're doing. I don't. I just have to follow this story to the end. I've heard enough. You and me both. I got what I came for. Rupert, sedate the boy. And shoot that snooping gutter rat. No! It's okay, Harper. I'm okay. No! No! Stay away from me! It's all right. We can trust him. But he... He helped me turn up the heat on the virus stock. Harper, I am Don't want to hear it. You just let her get away. Something's wrong. The boiler. The climate controls are malfunctioning. The superstructure may not be able to handle such a drastic change in... What's happening? We need to get out of here.
We can't get the gurney through there. Can you walk, Harper? No one leaves. Hello, hello. You. Drop the gun, Devlin. It's finished. I, I just need to tidy up. How did you escape? Something about unquenchable human spirit rot in hell. No! Professor! <coughs> <coughs> Professor, are, are you okay? No, not great, actually. Don't worry, Professor. We'll get you out of here somehow. What a terrible mess. <coughs> I'm so sorry. Professor, I have to tell you. I forgive you. I mean, I'm real mad at you. You were an idiot, but I want to forgive you. Is it Harper there? Yes, it's me, Professor. Oh, such a fine boy. You must bring your mother around to dinner sometime. I, I will, Professor. Professor? Whew. Whew. We made it. Everything's gonna be okay. LOL. You were right. This was a pretty dumb idea. Yeah, but it was the right thing to do, I guess. Come on, Harper. We gotta go home. How do we get down? It is with great relief that I can announce a breakthrough in the treatment of the Yelltown virus. Following a series of successful trials, a new vaccine will be made available in the affected areas. Our doctors will be able to save countless lives and in time arrest the spread of the disease. This is a testament to the tireless work of RHC and all our health professionals. But it is also a warning. We must establish a global health initiative to coordinate our response to emerging health threats like this. We must take action. We owe it to the people whose lives have been claimed in this tragedy. Senator Thurlow speaking at a press conference earlier this week. However, a covert recording purporting to be of the senator strikes a very different tone. A world without sickness is possible, and I can't let that happen. From the big grand coolie dam to the H-bomb, we have put science to work for us. Why not disease, too? What about the innocent people who die? In Yelltown? Greystone? Set dressing. The other voice you heard was Jane Hallowell, who posted the recording on the Port Nicola Times blog today. Hallowell's piece made a series of explosive allegations. <laughs> Radio. Where is she, Duke? And where is she? Well, Senator Thurlow has not issued a statement or appeared in public since the tape emerged. A spokesperson for the House Committee on Health Care condemned the... Oh, my God! Can't you see how huge this is? This is so huge! How does it feel to be a national hero? Well... You're the national hero. I'm just some patient zero nobody's ever heard of. Then how does it feel to be in a national hero's apartment? Pretty amazing. I know, right? I can't believe we did it. I know, right? To think that a brilliant megalomaniac could be defeated by a brave but educationally subnormal handyman. Yeah, pretty scary, huh? What are you doing with your face? Um, just felt like... Kind of a kiss moment? Nope, different kind of moment. Okay. Yes. Good.